Yo, <laughs> what's going on my people? Welcome back to the Lit Capital YouTube channel where life is for the taking. Wow, just came in on some stuff. How is everybody feeling these days? Uh, going into this whole thing, I hope you guys were actually able to really listen to our latest update, of course, on the Algorand protocol really being explained. We've been uh, really in the midst of building our premium communities. That's more so where we've been, uh, making sure that you guys stay still up to date with the news and everything. But at the same time, today we're going to be getting into explaining really how Ripple CBDs are going to be really working. Now, I'm going to be always preparing you guys. That's what we do. We're always going to be making sure you guys know, even in the beginning of where we're going to be, we're always going to be in a, a form of construction. As we as we get to new levels, we always have to keep ourselves moving and shaking and expanding. And over here, we are not scared of any challenges, especially when it comes down to these markets. <clears throat> now, if you expected your Bitcoin to be back to 50,000 weeks ago, well, that's just not the case. So if, if you understand and realize not being new to this channel, we make sure you guys know that we're here for the long term. You get what I mean? We're going to continue to be that lighthouse in the desert. Our community continues to expand. But what we want you guys to know and realize is that there is still a future, of course, in your ISO coins. And when people get fearful with their finances, they start to blame, okay? The blame game gets to going. So, of course, we're going to stick to the truth. Of course, we're going to continue to give you guys the realness. Now, right here, let me go spring you guys right on to our markets. Obviously, I hope you guys have been enjoying the last 24 hours because you already know what you get over here, another 24 hours of blessings. With that being said, of course, that is an empowerment to prosper. Now, everybody has been feeling, you know, this, this pump. Everybody's been feeling like, you know, all right, well, things are good, right? Now, I will tell you this, we're going to be looking at some uh, some price, some price action later on. But obviously, mostly what we're seeing over here, you know, it w within these two, a lot of people are calling price manipulation. You get what I mean? But honestly, we called it that Tether. They just printed like a billion Tether out of nowhere on the Tron network and we called it. So you get what I mean? You could have with what was printed, you can have yourself a little decent 4% pump. You get what I mean? On a market and everybody feels like things are great. Things are peachy. I'm telling you guys, trust me, this, this market is still manipulated according to plan. You get what I mean? So, you know, feel how you might about that. But right here, guys, uh, your Bitcoin right here is at 24. Your Ethereum's right here around uh trying to get to two looks like trying to get to two let's see who's actually done some things right here uh we covered it earlier we have celsius still doing some things now that we see that ripple is trying to pick them back up now everybody is actually trying to pick this up this is pretty decent so we're seeing here 34 percent. there's about a max supply of 695 million of them so people are trying to trying to eat these up as you guys could see after that whole dip with their um, with their insolvency yeah you guys could see they were already starting up right here around six dollars. I gotta get this thing fixed up. Uh, but at the same time, right now it's on its recovery back up. So this is interesting, guys. Really interesting. You know, I'm not gonna tell you guys any uh, financial advice. Of course, this is a token. But uh, moving forward, right here, guys. Uh, let's get back to the markets. Your XRP right here is at thirty-seven cents. Uh, moving forward, we have our Stellar right here at 12 cents. Again, this is another one, guys. We're going to be talking about the Star Bridge as well uh, later on this week because I think it's important that people really understand the utility when it comes down to XLM uh, and these ISO coins. Of course, I've, everybody does their digging into them, and obviously, we're going to continue to represent till we see some regulations happen. Obviously, we're seeing an expanding Web3. Obviously, we're seeing an extending crypto market. So Algorand right here. Um, excuse me, y'all. My bad. Apologies, apologies. All right, so like I said, Algren right here at 36 cents and um, your Hedera's right here at seven cents. Again, guys, all the pumps that we're seeing, all these green numbers are great. Hedera's up seven seven percent on the week. It's good. We're going to be talking about Quant as well, up 20%. A lot of people are feeling like there's a negative bearish sentiment in the market on Quant. I'm not here to bear your bags on Quant. We're definitely going to be talking about it later on in this, uh, in this live. Uh, but if you are new to this channel, what we do is definitely just go over the utility cryptos, especially we focus on utility cryptos. Obviously, we're going to be having a focus on ISO compliant cryptocurrencies uh, right here, guys. Of course, we talked about assembly earlier with you all. 
let's really get to our guy, the XDC network right here. Ooh. All right. So let's see. Our guy is out of the top 100 right here at 101 at 33. So it is really good to see at least he's up uh, around 2% on the uh, on 24 hours and then 15% on the week, which is good. Obviously, people are shaving off that optimism, obviously off off that huge pump. But that's the thing you guys need to remember. If you see anything that has a huge pump, you guys have to understand that it's going to have its time to come back down. Like I said, we're going to be uh, looking at some price action later on. Like I said, this piece here, like I said, you can find it in about everyone's chart. You know, it just goes to tell you the price manipulation in this market. But obviously, guys, it's, it's reminiscent of this. So we'll get back to that, though. But I want you guys to listen to this. Check this out understand what's going on with digital currencies understand that putting these protocols in place the blockchain protocol the ethereum protocol the uh xr the ripple protocol the uh xr the ripple protocol the uh xr the ripple protocol and then enabling those protocols to cause transactions to occur uh and then those and those transactions can be defined very broadly as not just moving same things of value but anything that's got an information content uh is extraordinarily transformative the focus on the value of the token is distracting. The people who really understand what's going on with digital currencies understand that putting the focus of the price of the token or coin is really distracting. Guys, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, we're going to a level playing field. It's fantastic. Now, this uh, article really, really uh, surprised me here. So. This whole thing with El Salvador actually adopting Bitcoin as legal tender and everything like that, you know, us knowing like, you know, this is just older tech and everything. They're going to use Bitcoin as your gateway, you know, as everyone is going to see it as synonymous with crypto. Everyone is going to see it exactly as it is. So El Salvador puts out this my first Bitcoin uh, program, how to teach a nation about crypto. If successful, my first Bitcoin program, which recently rolled out in El Salvador, could come soon to a school near you. Look at this, y'all. There is a whole concept here. You you have young kids that are learning in their first Bitcoin diploma program. My first question: Are y'all gonna give us a whole Bitcoin? You get what I mean? If you guys are gonna hold do a whole whole you know program, I would think it would be a whole you know first Bitcoin. But look at this. So when El Salvador adopted Bitcoin as legal tender on June 8, 2021, very few El Salvadorians uh, besides the president could explain concepts like seed phrases, satoshis, or mining. There was Bitcoin Beach, the name donned to the sleepy search town El Zante, the birthplace of Bitcoin adoption in El Salvador. But the 3,000 local residents would have their work cut out for the remaining 6 million population, 6 million you know, people population. So all the way right here, guys, I wanna show you all, almost 10 years later after the arrival of the first country to adopt bitcoin he had a, had to find a way to pitch in he flew to el salvador uh this person over here the og uh bitcoiner said he had to pitch in however similar to other bitcoiners who have made the pil pilgrimage to el salvador he was struck by how few merchants and vendors accepted bitcoin there was effectively zero merchants when the law came into effect so that's interesting, y'all. I mean, of course, obviously, they're going to continue to use it as a store of value. You get what I mean? And if you can continue to manipulate this one main thing, let's bring all the masses around to it. And then you learn seed phrases, mining. You learn a whole new thing that I believe that all the mass uh, populations are going to have to know. You know, we're learning computer science, really. We're learning distributed ledger technology. And there's different parts of it, you know, digital assets, cryptocurrency, all this stuff. So uh, right here uh, from Cryptonair D, he, I mean, this dude is is a beast when it comes down to putting out, you know, trade finance news, Cypherium, ISO news, XDC news uh, right here. So give him a follow for real on uh, on Twitter. But right here, XDC, the ICC DSI is uniquely positioned to help bridge the digital trade gap wherever it exists, creating both public good and private sector opportunities. So right here, guys, we've been covering, of course, with the ICC, how you really have you truly do have, <clears throat> excuse me, policymakers and governments that are really behind this digitization of trade finance. This is really going to happen. Of course, if I have any new people that are here, if you don't know anything about, you know, the reason, 
<clears throat> excuse me, why we're talking about XDC is because XDC is the only DLT that's really on the table out of all the ISO coins that's going to be taking on trade finance. Now, trade finance, you might be like, all right, well, so what? You know, who cares? You know, global trade, that's boring. But really, that's the thing with utility cryptos. We're not speculating no more. This this is now it's about utility. Now it's about how is this government going to use this network? How is my investment actually going to have place in the real world? I don't want to have to speculate on if homeboy is going to do what he does for the doggy coins. I don't you get what I'm saying. I don't want to have to speculate and do all of that. You get me? So now what we're going to be dealing with is actually your XDC for trade finance. You get what I mean? So trade is a proven means to create jobs, empower people, generate the resources for sustainable, inclusive growth and digitization and amplify it um, many times over. So uh, pretty much long story short, you have the International Chamber of Commerce, like we said, already linked into your DNI initiative, ITFA. The ITFA is a part of um, your um, international, I believe, uh, forfeit, trade and forfeit association. All of them basically are about digitizing paper documents and making sure that they have the same place as paper documents. So right now, global trade right now is largely paper based. So obviously, you know, when well, you're dealing with a bunch of countries, jurisdictions, all of that, we could just digitize all of it. Now, you might be thinking, oh, well, that might be not be too safe. Trust me, the fact that you have pirates that people are dealing with, uh, copies of paper, burnt pieces of paper, if you lose one piece of paper that you have to go through all of this bureaucracy, now using DLT a, with something with a uh, DLT based technology framework, XDC network, obviously you're seeing the connections here. The ITFA can connect. So basically you, we're connecting the dots here. ITFA already has the XDC ne uh, network as a part of the network here. Okay. Uh, and all of these, all of these uh, names here, of course, the MLETR as well. Again, long story short, these are all initiatives, all forces to make sure that you get to the back. Now, right here, R3 has put out hybrid blockchains are seen as competitive, but they're more complementary than you think. Private platforms like Corda not only extend the benefits of public platforms, but they're also acting as a bridge to trusted interoperability between TradeFi and DeFi. Now, you know what? I'll go ahead and open this up for us so we can dive into it. But if you guys didn't already know, R3 r3 who is the consortium the network of networks working with all of the banks making sure that if you step to r3 you can get digitized if you step to r3 you could do something with dlt if you step to r3 you they could create an api an api that your your country or, or excuse me your financial institution can deal with you get what i mean can actually deal with so r3 really is a business we've covered them um, extensively, but really the reason that I'm bringing it to you is because XDC is a settlement token already on R3. So if you guys don't already know, though, there's been some bad blood in the past with Ripple and R3. Of course, if you have XRP, we're XRP and XDC holders. You get what I mean? But if you have XRP and you've been wondering, you know, well, is it still a settlement token over there? Just settle more so that it is for XDC. Now, what they were talking about right here, uh, big shout out the CTO over there putting out a vision for public and uh, block public and private blockchains. Wanted you guys to see honestly what he had to say here about boom so these revolutions talking about public blockchains have been accelerated by combining the permissionless nature of early blockchains with the time-tested principles of composability programmability basically smart contracts all of which were derived from the first public platforms such as ethereum so they're praising it already from here now the reason why you have bitcoin and ethereum as your two most popular cryptocurrencies is because ethereum in itself is the mother of all smart contracts but if you know learning really about it look into the whole path look into eth gate all of that stuff no conspiracy you'll see it for yourself about how ethereum 
they're they're creating a monopoly. It's a monopoly that's already made. So um, just with that being said, if you are new to cryptocurrency, not here to give you a bias or anything like that, but I'll leave you guys a link. They just they just really give a they really give a a testament. It's not a question of public versus private blockchains. It's a vision of public and private blockchains, which is going to be the future. Now, speaking of that, guys, speaking of that, if you didn't know, putting it out there, we're all about really you know iso gang we're going to be having some iso merch iso gang merch being released of course obviously we're going to be looking out for you guys for the xdc hats we're going to be looking out for you guys on the merchandise we're going to be looking out for you guys who really want to support your favorite youtube channel but with that being said we're also going to be putting this out there also about the iso tc 307 putting it out there people have been saying you know they're both equally massive Obviously, guys, we're going to be looking into this most important part here, the interoperability part. As you guys can see, R3, most of these financial institutions, who we talk about, who we cover over here, that's the key word. We've been talking about that word right there since the beginning, interoperability. You're going to have public and private blockchains. Can your network survive regulations? That's really the question. Uh, but anyway, I want you guys to see this right here. Who is the convener for this uh, for this standard right here? Mr. Gilbert Viridian. So for my people that are in here who already know, uh, yeah, right here, Quant CEO and founder Gilbert Viridian. He is the co-founder. He is the CEO uh -huh, of your Quant. He has his own ISO standard. He's written it for interoperability. Quant is all about interoperability. If you really thought quant wasn't going to be the overledger if you're kind of bearish on this technology it's going to happen so really quickly so you guys can see this here's the only reason why over here on this side we haven't been stressing that you guys get some quant not saying that you can't if you want to deal with erc20 you want to deal with the ethereum network do your thing but that's the thing right here here's the here's the the kicker guys here's the kicker right shout out to the people that knew about this thing back in 2018 2019 dig what i'm saying five six seven eight bucks and now your thing is up to up to 128 after a massive massive dip got all the way up to what 393 so as you guys can see this it's a scarcity scarcity 14 million of these things and obviously there's some bears that are eating all this up obviously this is all in the ethereum network this is a token um we all look forward to a qrc 20 quant of course uh but with that being said obviously you guys can see it has a connection with the iso now, here's a reason I got to put this out there. If we're going to talk about an ISO 2C307, no disrespect, I kind of want to tell you guys a little bit about uh, about this one right here. OK, so really quickly, uh, this guy, Richard Knight, put this stuff out here, altcoininvestors.com. Big shout out to them. I guess give him a follow. I was kind of liking what he was saying. He had a few little misgivings in here, but it's no problem. But I like this. The biggest change to our financial system in 50 years is happening in November 2022. Now, the best part about this one, my people, that we're a part of the ISO community is that we have discovered this. That's the point. The Lyft Capital has really put it out there. No, no, no disrespect. You can check through our library. If you're new to this channel, if you're, this is the first time you're, that you're hearing Ted talk money, we've been talking ISO for months since last year. At this point, guys, we're going to continue with the mission and we're going to make sure that you guys know that your bags are going to pump. But with that being said, that this gets attention, you know, in the community of crypto, trust is not native. People don't trust anybody that's talking about crypto. No one is going to speak for Bitcoin. No one is going to speak for certain things. So really with us keying into the spirit of wisdom, no crazy stuff. That's just what it is. We've actually stumbled upon something. But like it is right now in this time of misdeception and misinformation, people manhandle and mistrust the truth, right? So I want to show you guys this. No hype news, but putting it out there. The biggest change to our financial system will in 50 years is going to be happening in November. The international payments are moving to the blockchain ISO 222. Now, that's kind of a little biased, you know, a little biased, but not bad. So look at this. Many crypto investors are looking to reap massive returns as the 50 year international payment system moves into the blockchain beginning in November 22. Now, this is pretty much a fact, though. You get what I mean? Because honestly, think about it, guys. Do you really think that we're going to stay with this fiat broken fiat system? The petrodollar is dying. Inflation is going crazy. Everyone wants a reset. Everyone wants to make sure that something new happens. So with that being said, um, they're putting it out there that 
and, with, and really with that being said, think about it. Everyone is moving to this standard. If if we're seeing we're on some kind of agenda by 2030, and if we can have every financial institution, banking institution, everyone speaking this language by 2025, then I'm sure that whatever's happening post 25, it's going to be automatic. You know what I mean? So listen to this. So this is part of what is known as ISO 222 or uh, what is it? Uh, 2022, a single standardization approach used by all financial standard initiatives. Again, if you're new to this, if this is all like new to you, this is beyond governments. This is beyond policymakers. And for real, show some respect. If you're hearing about this firstly here on Live Capital, make it known. The new standardization is set to officially begin in November 2022. And that's the thing, guys, and be fully implemented by November 25. The new standardization It'll be a standardization. ISO has been rolling in the background since I believe uh, 07 or 04, but for the new standardization, okay, like the sunset date, like, all right, let's do this thing. Like, all right, they're going to do a sunset, Euro Big Bang, like in the Eurozone, we're starting this thing right here in November. There are many cryptocurrencies that will be integrated into this new financial system referring to referred to as ISO 222 compliant cryptocurrencies. And there is much speculation these cryptocurrencies will soar in price once the standard is implemented. So, guys, look at this. 45.8 million transactions per day. Who are they talking about? Swift. Now, commonly known as SWIFT, the international money transfer system is founded back in the early 70s, right? But is the backbone of cross-border payments and international payments. Problem. The problem with this existing system is that it's slow, expensive, laden with paperwork, founded on a legacy technology. So the implementation of ISO will bring this antiquated financial transaction system up to date by utilizing blockchain technology. Which is interesting. I mean, honestly, the incorporation, like they're saying, of all these cryptocurrencies can handle the transaction volume. Think about it, guys. And for real, if if for you guys to really understand and know, we dive right into this thing. Check out our course. OK, there is a link in the description. Check out our course. We made an ISO solutions course for you guys. We go through every single one of them to make sure you guys understand how easy it can be that all these solutions are going to happen to utilize it. That's the point of the ISO standard was to bring the legacy system into the modern world to update the payment system all right so the fact that you have ripple xrp xrp ripple ripple being a part of the uh the only company the only dlt company on the iso standards body on the governance body it tells you it right there okay so if you really think your xrp is just only going to be 30 40 cents for the rest of your life you're mistaken these cryptos aren't going to be that but at the same time, you really see that you have something that's uh, compliant. Now, here's the thing. Richard should have kept uh, XX's thing in there. That's kind of a shame. But right here, investment opportunity of a lifetime. There is a lot of speculation that the cryptocurrencies that are compliant with this standard are a part of a network will increase in value tremendously. So, of course, you already know what they're recognizing right here. Uh, you have your XRP obviously connected with your inner ledger protocol. Of course, you have your Hyperledger quilt, which would be your IBM Hyperledger fabric connection there with IBM, which would put them right here with Stellar. Uh, but guys, of course, this is uh, this is XX's work. But obviously, XRP, XDC, Algorand, uh, uh, XLM, IOTA. Now, here's the thing. Obviously, you guys already know we've talked about it when it comes down to Hedera. If Hedera is not exactly ISO compliant, but with them connecting with IBM to the Hyperledger fabric, they can kind of do so. IOTA is, of course, Constellation DAG. They have their connection with Quant as well. Quant, I just showed you guys, is ISO because the creator himself already has an ISO standard created for him. And then as well... Uh, Constellation DAG is the U.S. Air Force is utilizing them. Right now, I really don't see them actually having to be ISO compliant. This The reason why they're here is just their connection with the overledger. So that's what I'm saying. You, go, you know, people will take this picture and then really feel like, oh, well, you know, Constellation was on there. Even Accenture. Get some Accenture. Accenture is ISO. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm not being negative, y'all. I'm just, you know, helping people out with this whole thing. Uh, but Hedera, like I said, like that's not exactly identified as ISO. But of course, your XLM your xrp xdc algorand and iota uh definitely is of course like i said quant isn't exactly iso 222 but i would definitely say it is uh this guy right here iso 307 regardless is part of the iso gang know what i'm saying know what i'm saying
<laughs> All right. So moving forward with this one, my people getting to our main piece right here. We're getting to it. Y'all dig this. Listen to this. This is Brad back at Davos a couple months ago talking about them acquiring crypto companies. Dig this. We will build internally. Uh, the, the car Carbon credit initiative is something we've kicked off internally, but uh, where we've made, we've invested in over 30 or 40 companies around the crypto ecosystem, and we'll continue to look at opportunities to grow through external acquisitions also. And of course, the market's not great right now, but is an IPO on the cons at some point? Well, I think we want to get certainty and clarity in the United States with the yeah. U.S. SEC. Uh, you know, I'm hopeful uh, that the SEC will not slow that process down any more than they already have. But, you know, we certainly at a point in scale where that is a possibility. And uh, we'll look at that once we're past this uh, lawsuit with the SEC. Yeah, yeah. We will beautiful. build internally. Just beautiful. So as you guys already know, Ripple is going to continue to grow. OK, so we're going to be getting into it. All right. So at the end of this whole thing, you guys are going to have a better understanding, of course, of how Ripple is going to be helping these central banks with their digital currencies. Now, if you didn't know about central bank digital currencies, CBDCs, well, they're going to be existing. They're going to be around right now. What we're witnessing, my people, and I'm not going to be getting diving too far into it. We help our patrons. We help our premium members. If you really want to deep dive and know a little bit more about what's happening with Live Capital, don't hesitate to hit join don't hesitate to join us over on patreon right here cbdc's they're going to be coming but if you if if you're familiar with your paper dollar or your um your euro or uh yen maybe you're going to be having a digital form of it a digital dollar digital pound and even a digital euro so right now obviously what ripple does even though they're partnered with uh banks even though they're partnered with uh financial institutions and whatnot they're still going to be obviously helping central banks with their digital currencies having a private ledger now look at this secure blockchain innovation for a sustainable economy gotta put that right there guys if your cryptocurrency is not moving for innovation of a sustainable economy it's going to be targeted it's going to be put out okay so for example you might just have you know all right well i have a hybrid consensus mechanism of proof of work and proof of stake for example cypherium has a little little flavor like that still it's lightweight enough to where it can run on a mobile phone so if that's the case then you can actually have something that might work out but for your bitcoin what's going to happen so right here, I wanted to show you guys this one. You can manage the full CBDC. Um, yes, the CBDC life cycle. We're definitely going to be showing you a diagram of that. Ripple offers a complete platform for minting, managing, and transacting and destroying these CBDCs. Minting, managing, transacting, and destroying, guys. Like I said, we're going to be looking at a visual of that. Each solution is built on a private ledger that is based upon XRPL technology, a proven blockchain transacted over 70 million over 10 years. Got to say this, guys, this network, this blockchain has been running for a decade, a decade. That's what they want. They want networks that have been running for a while. They don't really want your, you know, choo-choo, you know, Choo choo chain, <laughs> choo choo network, you know. But no, guys, check this one on out. Let's see uh, what Ripple has to say. Today's global financial system is more complex than ever before. Yet, as the world's economies grow, the infrastructure they rely on needs to evolve. Every nation has its own independent monetary policy and regulatory standards. But with varying system access and legacy technology, the world's financial infrastructure can seem overwhelming. At Ripple, we enable governments and central banks around the world to create new, high-performance financial infrastructures built on blockchain technology. More specifically, we help governments build and launch central bank digital currencies or CBDCs. They are national currencies powered by modern technology that is secure, centralized and scalable. And these CBDCs will enable central banks to implement their monetary policies in more efficient and effective ways. 
The Ripple team brings a wealth of expertise to every new CBDC solution, working with hundreds of financial institutions, policymakers and regulators. Our solutions facilitate billions of dollars in cross-border payments around the globe. Ripple's CBDC solution is based upon one of the most reliable, sustainable and open source blockchain protocols, the XRP Ledger XRPL. The XRP Ledger technology is perfect for CBDC blockchain applications. It's fast with transactions complete in 2 to 3 seconds. It's easily customizable and programmable. It's reliable having closed over 72 million ledgers since 2012. The ledger's native functionality for issuing digital currencies also reduces the need for bespoke programming and reduces risk. Finally, the technology is sustainable as one of the first carbon-neutral blockchains. Each pilot is completely customizable and shaped to the needs of the central bank by an expert team. Here's how it works. Each nation's CBDC is hosted on a private version of the XRP ledger. Access by participants is granted by the administrator and fully secure. Using Ripple's CBDC solution, the central bank has full control over supply, allowing them to increase supply or redeem it. And through a standard API and multiple SDKs, integration into existing systems is simplified and suitable for traditional and non-traditional participants. Additionally, the central bank can issue other assets and allow participants like commercial banks to do so. The central bank can also authorize who holds the currency on the ledger, whether that's held directly by consumers or through commercial banks. Transactions typically settle in seconds compared to days, making CBDCs suitable for use cases like retail points of sale. This can open the door for real-time salary payments and collection of tax at point of sale, which gets funds to an institution or a consumer faster while eliminating debt risks. CBDC data is fully controlled and auditable by a central bank, allowing for its analysis in support of monetary policy. And the data maintains transaction privacy, while still allowing for regulators to monitor for criminal activities. Finally, a Ripple-designed CBDC can provide a means to bridge disparate currencies through XRP. Its inherent interoperability can allow for connection with other central bank ledgers for efficient cross-asset and cross-border transactions. This can be done with cross-issuance, using XRP as a bridge currency or via cross-ledger communication protocols. This reduces the risk that institutions are forced to accept when transacting across multiple networks or currencies in the current system. The creation of a CBDC provides powerful benefits for the economy and people of an adopting central bank. It's technology that places trust in digital money in the hands of a central bank that can guarantee accessibility to funds and the resulting services, as is the case with cash today. The result? An improved foundation for global financial development where businesses, commercial banks and ultimately people can unlock new economic potential. Work with Ripple to build a custom pilot designed for your country or institution today. Fantastic, fantastic, man. I really do love what Ripple is really doing. I mean, if you're really thinking like, you know, XRP is gonna be used for something, they were showing it to you right there. You have the connector between all of these central banks, okay? If you're thinking that the Davos boy, you know, uh, Carl Schwab and all of them, you, you know, the evil ones, they're gonna use XRP, okay? But it's a tool and that's the thing. Only the handful of the people that really truly do believe before we see a, a switch actually flipped, you know, that you can actually have so many believers that are directed only to XRP. I don't know anything about crypto, but this XRP, there's something about it. You know, they were showing you right there. And that's the thing. I was even noticing even the narrative, the propaganda is out there is they're showing and they're telling people, oh, well, you know, XRP doesn't have to be valuable. It doesn't have to be uh 
a lot for you to move the value everywhere. Obviously, guys, if they're actually going to be loading up all of that value onto this network, onto this ledger, we're going to be seeing in the future, personally speaking, no financial advice, that we're going to be seeing a very expensive XRP. But hey, don't mark my words, not financial advice. But really important thing I want to show you guys is this big word here, S sustainability commit to sustainable innovation by using a carbon neutral xrpl that's the only thing that they really have to use guys if you have a horrible project if it's a good project as long as you say that it's sustainable they'll give it a shot all right but one thing for real they have interoperability services that are going to be there access and inclusion we're going to be looking at more details of that whole thing especially these six steps in uh in in detail and everything so that's going to be right here guys let's actually see this right here we're not the type to edit this out big shout out xx for what he does okay we definitely have to give the guy his uh give him his credit working with the guy utility theory for what he does but right here guys uh, a little bit of uh details let's go over the work that the man did right here so as you guys could see again what the guy did was pretty much recreate what the video was that we saw. You could see that each one of these XRPs, Ripple, designed CBDCs provide means to bridge currencies with XRP, allowing efficient cross assets and cross bridge transactions. So again, guys, we're talking about from Africa, South America, North America to Russia, China, all of that. If you want with your central bank digital currency, once we have a level playing field, who's going to connect them? What's going to be the most liquid thing that we could actually put together and hold up you think gold is just going to sit there and be worthless no no my people they want you to really believe that xrp and gold for my people that actually have xrp and gold you're good okay now of course what we do uh talk about over here because it's about diversify diversification um your chosen five we're about the chosen five over here, your Algorand, your IOTA, your XLM, XDC, and XRP. And for real, I mean, we dollar cost have into our ISO cryptos. Here's the thing, man. You know, everybody is looking for the quick pump. Everybody's looking for, you know, uh, well, where can I get my next dollar and everything? And of course, everybody wants to get up. Obviously, there's ways to make income. You get what I mean? But for the long shot, okay, do you have your eyes on the prize? You get me? If you don't have yourself focused on something in the future, you're going to be distracted by everything. You're going to chase green candles. Oh, this is pumping. This is pumping. And then it dumps and then you sell. You get me? This is pumping. This is pumping. There will always be something pumping because you have to see the bigger picture. This is the bigger picture. You get what I'm saying? This one right here, something that can bridge, something that could fix all of these problems, all of the liquidity crisis that we're, that we're witnessing right now. So right here, y'all, uh, as you can see, once you have a central bank that connects right here with Ripple, let's just say when Ripple actually produces that thing, some of the banks, the banks themselves, like, like they were saying, the banks can control redemptions and participants of who can hold and use the CBDC. So you know, of course, people are really feeling like, oh, well, you know, they can just, you know, that's kind of like the mark of the beast. They could do this. They could do that. Now, of course, guys, obviously the XRP ledger in itself is not a centralized ledger. So when we're talking about a private centralized ledger, a private XRPL ledger, that's the one that if you're obviously involved with, right, you're going to have to deal with those supply redemptions, participations, destroying, redeeming, opening, uh, closing, and all of that. That's the reason why we talk about actually holding XRP on top of this, because there's going to be that the masses, the people that weren't listening to you when you were telling them about XRP, the reason why they weren't listening is because they're going to be the ones caught up in this. You actually have the railways. You actually have the bed. You actually have where all of this value is going to be running around the, the bones. OK, the bones, you get what I mean? So with that being said, those are going to be valuable. Those railways aren't going to be brittle. It doesn't make sense to actually have a XRP that's really only going to be 30 something cents, just a couple cents while we're moving trillions and trillions of dollars everywhere. Just think about it for yourself, logically. So right here, though, um, right here, as you can see, uh, when it comes down to it, the Ripple CBDC platform is obviously connected to the XRPL. But speaking a little bit more on the actual... 
on the actual six steps, guys, uh, right here, number one, they would onboard. Number one, step one would be onboarding. That would be a standard API enables the integration of CBDC. So let's just say the digital pound, which Ripple is a partner of the digital euro, which Ripple is a part of already there. They onboard that. Then they would mint it. The bank uses the platform, Ripple platform, their CBDC platform, cryptographic multi-sign controls to mint those CBDCs. Big shout out to the Ripple devs, okay? Gotta say that. Big shout out to them because they're actually making this useful. If you really thought, oh, well, XRP isn't gonna be used for that and that's it, you just didn't do your research. Think about what Ripple is doing, okay? You have, you know, if you didn't know, the creators already for the Bitcoiners who were already working on Bitcoin worked on XRP, Jed McCaleb being one of them, then he outsprang and made on XLM and went on the remittance and nonprofit route, okay? But right here, guys, what I'm saying is these these the developers over there at Ripple, big shout out to them. So right now, uh, through their work, Basically, they can mint that and then they could distribute it. So the issuers can send CBDCs to authorized accounts, authorize those accounts. Only valid participants can, like we said, hold and receive. So again, if you're feeling like, oh, well, they, you know, they can control me. They're, you know, that. Uh, sure, you can feel that way. You get me? That's exactly what, you know, what it kind of is. But at the same time, excuse me, at the same time, where does that put you? Do you have any XRP? Do you have any ISO compliant cryptos? I'd rather have some cryptos that are actually regulatory compliant because from that point, you have most of the people that are still in power that are, uh, you know, changing these laws, doing things for Congress and all that. They don't know about this stuff. They're just they're just scared. They're just, OK, whoever said, OK, is this the way to go? OK, OK, then we'll go this way. You get what I mean? So they don't really understand. So if I can actually have something that's in regulation, if we a part of this ISO gang, real lift capital supporters, people that have been here since day one, if we're already a part of that set ahead of time, then heck yeah, I'm going to dollar cost average more and more in ISO cryptos. Heck yeah, I'm going to continue to get more and more into these bags. And the best part about it is these ecosystems are growing, you know. But uh, moving forward right here to uh, after they distribute those CBDCs to those authorized accounts, then they can do those transactions. Transactions, of course, settle within two to three seconds. Interoperability between cross assets, cross border transactions when connected to another CBDC. Think about what I'm saying here. The Jamaicans can do work, settle their money in two to three seconds with the people in Japan. Japanese can work with the Dutch and settle in two to three seconds. Take this thing back to 1994 and you were in a business meeting and you had to do some work with the Japanese and you really made it happen. You had to make like you had to wait for your money to settle. Yes, you got the deal done, but you had to wait at least 48 hours for your finances to clear and all of that. The deal was done. Great. And for my bosses that are listening, obviously, of course, the best part is just sitting there, you know, waiting for the money to clear. That's cool. We're past that now. We're past that now. OK, instant settlement. It's there. Now from there, now ideas can flow faster. Now we can move forward with this network. And that's the thing about this young generation, all the developers that are really in this cryptocurrency thing. Big shout out to people. Big shout out to all the uh, the younger people that are going to be coding. You know what I mean? In these networks. Uh, but moving forward to uh, step five, of course, <clears throat> participants can return funds uh, on the CBDC to issuers in exchange for fiat. So when it comes down to it, I have a, a few more details uh, when it comes down to step five, all right? We have fiat right here. That's what we're saying. You want to redeem it. You have your digital uh, euro, for example. You don't want to deal with the digital euro. I, I don't have my phone with me or something like that. I still want to have, obviously, some paper money, something to exchange. You get what I mean? That that There is details already out there for what we're going to be expecting for that. All right. But the fiat, our concept of fiat is not going to be the same as it is now. And then, of course, this destroy mechanism. Number six, number six, destroy CBDC platform. This ripple CBDC platform supports secure destruction of currencies. Banks have full control of the supply, 
full control. So a lot of people are really scared about that. A lot of people are feeling like, oh man, you guys support centralized cryptos. You guys are about centralized, you know, this, centralized that, down with centralized, you know, down with the banks, all of that stuff. And you know, <laughs> how I feel about that sentiment, man. I remember when I had my first beer, you know, but, uh, <laughs> But right here, though, uh, seriously, one time right right behind me, each country CBDC is hosted on a private XRPL ledger, XRP ledger. All right. So, again, they're going to be giving those access to those participants granted by the administrator. Uh, administrator, obviously, is going to be fully secure through APIs and multiple SDKs. Integration into existing systems is suitable through API and multiple SDKs. So that right there, guys, obviously is going to be right for business. You obviously are going to be having all these APIs that are going to be connecting with the RippleNet, which is great. Now, <laughs> for for you know a little humor, you know, for you know just just while we're feeling good and everything, guys, <laughs> just check this out. I mean, for my people that still wanted a Tesla, look at this. <laughs> yoza yoza yeah yeah i mean you know I, I i didn't even know they were still glitching like that elon come on now you got so much money Jeez. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> all right so guys, as you already know, we're going to be getting into our community time one time. Let me just show you guys a little bit of Bitcoin price action really quickly. Let's turn on some tunage over here. Let's see what we got going on. Yep, got some original uh, Lyft Capital tunage. Let me cut this one on over here, my people, my people. Yeah. All right, let's see who we got up in here. This is our community time. Let's actually see. Let me go ahead back to the chart one time. Let's see who's up in here. Word is life. Word is life. Appreciate everybody up in here. It's a real time. It's a real time. Connecting with the ISO gang is always a great thing. All right. <clears throat> Let's see what the real deal is. Let's see what the real deal is. Who do we have up in here? Let's cut it on. <clears throat> you already know. Now, we actually asked the community. We asked ourselves. We said, we asked the community, will XRP break out this week? 106 votes say no. 106, oh, excuse me, 50% of the community feels like no. No. While 31% says maybe. While 19% says yes, it will interesting who we got up in here hold up I got y'all give me a second Y'all like the tunes? Let me know. While y'all come in, hit the like button. Make yourself known. Don't be on the sideline. There we go. There we go. Lobo. Lobo Del Cash said, what's happening? Lobo, we up in here, y'all. You checking in? Go ahead and make yourself known, of course. Drop in where you're from. Drop in how you're feeling about your bags. Which one's your favorite ISO utility crypto? What price action have you guys have been seeing out in the out in the way? Yeah. Where we at? I'm gonna make it so I can see everybody's chat. Master Chief 420 says it's UBI, they will control for sure. Oh, you got that right, man, you got that right. 
You got that right. Let me let me bring it back up top. Let me bring it back up top. I think I saw K more. I think I saw K more still up in here. Master Chief, if you up in here, bro, hit the like button. I appreciate you being up in here, tuning in. Always checking in the place to be. One second, y'all. You already know I'm about to get to you. I'm here. UBI definitely. Homie, K-more. Hey, K-more, I'm about to reach out, man. We're about to make that happen. If you guys didn't know, K-more, me and T, we're about to make it happen for you guys. Mid-August, in, in probably either a week or so, all of us teaming up, we're gonna be doing the AMA because we have to continue to represent, we have to continue to show you guys what's actually happened with utility and especially getting some real brilliant minds together to speak some things. Definitely appreciate you being in here, K-More. Charlie Bags, XRP hanging at the 38 level all day. Now pushing a tad higher. Let's go ahead and check that out one time. Yeah, looking great. XRP is looking great. Everybody is really liking what Ripple is doing, especially after this Celsius news. Everybody loves to see some gains on their XRP bag. Loving it. Mental at Quan is getting solid social engagement. That's the truth, man. Some really solid social engagement. You know, um, I've been seeing that a lot. Like uh, a lot of people were putting out that supply shock when it came down to it that uh, exchanges were no longer uh, that exchanges were no longer holding enough holding enough um quant so i thought that was quite interesting for real gerard iso gang stay blessed that's the truth man that is the truth after that's the best part about it man we have a lot of people that listen to this thing and one of the things that really struck me is that you have you have iso gang members real iso bag holders that really trip off the fact that the whole iso standard you know as soon as iso pops off we're in the game you know, that's really the best part about this whole thing. You could trip off the fact that we're a part of a standard, trip off the fact that something, this whole standard, this whole shift is, is it's happening, you know, and it's no hype. That's not, you know, that's the, that's, that's what nobody can say about this channel is that we're some kind of hype, hype anything. Okay. For real. Third son, peace almighty. Word up, word up, family. Word up. I appreciate you being in here. Rico Hemfrey. What up, Ted? What's happening? What's happening? Guys, I seriously want you guys to uh, keep in mind, you know, we, we put, uh, I'm not really going to show you the lines, but we, we definitely have to talk about wealth management, okay? I think it's important that just as, as XRP holders, I don't have to really do that, but as uh, XRP holders, you know, really managing this whole thing for ourselves, you know, people are going to be really at your neck. People are really going to be at who you are as a person, you know? As you guys see, what do we say? It was a range area. This thing is ranging. It's ranging. And if this thing, like we had, we had, you know, I'm showing y'all too much. I'm showing y'all too much. I'm showing y'all too much. Anyway, anyway. Yeah. But Rico, my man, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Who's up in here? All right, we got some newcomers up in here. Appreciate you guys. Don't be no wallflowers. You know, don't come up in here. Don't say nothing. This is an ISO gang party. Now, what's your opinion on Sun Gold? My opinion on Sun Gold, Satya, appreciate you being in here, of course. Please hit the like button. Is that you should probably check out, my friend, how to pick a QFS asset on the Lobster Wallet. I think that would probably tell you my opinion on Sun Gold. I will never be burned on Sun Gold ever again. All right. Heather, Dream Team. Ted, T, and Kurt. Heather, who is Kurt? Introduce who that is. Who that is. We're talking about, oh, okay, more. All right, word, word. My bad, my bad. <laughs> my bad, bro. Yeah, no, no doubt. No doubt, Heather. I appreciate you being in here. Ripple buying Celsius, yay or nay? That's a yay, my brother. I really do believe that's a, 
I think that's the case, man. I really do think that's the case. I really do think that's the case. I'm gonna break. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna shake this one on up. I'm gonna hit y'all with the. Uh, I feel like hitting that. I feel like hearing that. Uh, that 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 theme song now. What y'all think? I think I want to hear the Live Capital theme song. What y'all think? I ain't heard it in a minute. Oh, oh, Rudy Pooh. My man, appreciate y'all being up in here. But yes, Ripple buying Celsius. I really do think that's where you're having a lot of this attention coming about. You know, a lot of people would, you know, you would think they would sell off on this little pump right here. But no, nah, you're having more people buying it up. That's what this is. You know, you would think that it would be a bearish pattern, especially something following right here uh, with Bitcoin. You know, Bitcoin is having a little bit of a bearish pressure right here after its pump. And, you know, it's, it hasn't done enough. People aren't happy. It hasn't done enough. Why aren't you over 24? OK, and I'm telling you guys, seriously, don't miss out on our updates, y'all. It's always full of nuggets for real. I really do. Don't. I. I all right. If you really think this is like you were it, we're in bullish territory. I don't think so, y'all. Seriously, I think this is your pre bull trap before we go into that uh, full moon cycle. Full moon cycle is gonna be a, a bearish cycle. It's usually a bearish time on the charts. So if whatever this is, wherever this came from, if we could have some fake liquidity and then short everybody during that cycle, boom, keep everybody just in that fear greed cycle. You know what I'm saying? But what do we know? Live capital, no, I'm playing. Lobo, appreciate you, man. Money Wolf, my, my dude. The devs of the Lightning Network have said in a podcast that it failed. Boom. Guys, you know what? Uh, Faraz, Faraz, what? No, nah, I'm not going to do that. But you know what, y'all? I'm going to drop this one. This was a uh, Patreon exclusive. We have so much content for y'all that I'll be I'll be just dropping a few little, you know, little nuggets here and there for y'all. But let me see. Let me see. Um, let me pull some up. I'm about to drop something in the chat for you guys little patreon exclusive about the lightning network nothing negative we just open minds here we're just about opening our minds y'all increasing our new standards of living all right so real quick watch this lightning network Check this out, y'all. Dropped one in the chat. Yep. Dropped it in the chat. Who else we got up in here? Sergio Mendoza checking in. Sergio Mendoza, real ISO gang member. Thank you for being some eyes and ears. Appreciate that, man. Barb, appreciate you. Yes, Ted, it's one thing to get rich, but it's a whole nother way to stay that way. A whole nother thing to stay that way. I think we're all going to need some help with that. No doubt about it, Barbara. No doubt about it. Of course, here's the thing, man. Of course, obviously, when it comes down to wealth management and everything like that, my people, I think it's really important that we continue to move forward in the right way, you know, that we actually continue to educate ourselves because really it's important, y'all. There's a whole new, a whole new playground, a whole new mind frame that's going to be coming. I want you guys to know that, you know, and if you actually have the information to know, you'll, you can navigate. You get me? Hey, Ted, made it in. Right on, right on. Jimbo, hey, Teddy, appreciate you, man. Appreciate the support, y'all. Just going through here, going through, obviously reading everybody's, you know, we, that's what we do over here. This is our community time. If you guys have any questions, if you have any, uh, you know, any take that you've been hearing out there in the crypto market, I'm connecting with y'all today, okay? I'm not, I'm no fake, no sugar wrapping, no sugar coating, nothing like that. We're going to continue to move forward, but I'm just, I'm, everybody gets their time in the sun over here. You get what I'm saying? Jimbo, do you think BTC will survive? My thinking is if all the big boys are buying Bitcoin, it can't fail. 
even if it's just a store of value. Thoughts. God bless, brother. Appreciate you, Jimbo. God definitely blesses you, man. Um, it. I believe it will survive, but how you're going to have the grandpa on the back. We've been saying a lot of stuff about this from the beginning since we've been out here, man, is that your Bitcoin, it's going to be around, right? Because it's synonymous with crypto. Right now, you just have a lot of people that look at Bitcoin, Ethereum, and altcoins. That's just it. Everything else is just some big ocean of I'm not sure, whatever. Let me just get Bitcoin and Ethereum. So that in itself is a whole mechanism of control. Obviously, if you have the big boys and, you know, the people that want to control Web3 that are controlling all that, you know, monopolizing it before this whole new asset class is even mature, then all right, that's just the case. So Bitcoin already, I think it's going to be around just like you have, like, for example, like a CD player or a record player. If we're talking about like store of value or like gold, I guess you can kind of think of it like that. Bitcoin came around as the first one proof of work, only 21 million of them. You know, but at the same time, I really do think we don't know where this whole thing is going to be in five years, what it's going to look like in 15 years. You know what I mean? They just want people really only living for 24 hours. They only want people really, you know, thinking this far ahead of themselves, you know, literally like this. Soon it's going to be people are going to have their metaverse. This is as far as they're literally going to be looking. You know what I mean? So if that's the case, that's the case. Uh, but that is it's possible, man. Charlie Bags, I knew the Lightning Network was going to fail years ago. Just had a hunch based on Lee's lack of enthusiasm about it. Interesting. Charlie Lee's Charlie Lee's uh, uh, enthusiasm. That's the thing, man. Litecoin, Litecoin and Bitcoin have never over here. Just personally speaking, they've never appealed to me. Just personally speaking, TED Talk Money. You know, proof of work already in itself. Just after I heard about really what it was and how energy consumptive it was. I understand the consensus. Understand that you have a rock hard you know proof of work way that we know that consensus is real decentralized or whatever you know um but that has its place you get me when you have especially when it comes to technology this isn't going to be around forever this isn't going to be the the best forever especially since bitcoin there's there's no you know if you have a developer on it the devs of bitcoin what's who is that you know what i mean you're talking about a lightning network obviously it's a failed thing so now you have ethereum right now so Really, I think we're going to get to the point to now, like we're talking about these utility networks, the ones that have been created since the beginning to last for decades. They will last for decades, not like beyond speculation, beyond just a store of value and all of that stuff. Real utility coins that are going to be used, um, like I said, hopefully for centuries. Right. You know, um, yeah, real generational wealth. So that's what we, we're really about. So but personally, man, the, you know, your blue chips. All that popular stuff, it you know, now this crypto market is completely different. You know, T Mac, Ted, they're coming for your coins. You ready? The fools, baboons, and idiots have been released. Beware, bro. Ain't coming for my coins, man. It's David Scott still. Here he had a nice video this morning with audio discussing how lame the Lightning Network is at this time. It shows just how powerful XRP is. Why are y'all coming over here talking to me about somebody else's channel? Antonio, hola, brother, here in the holidays, here in holidays last Monday, eight and eight was my birthday. My best present, XRP, XDC, go to the moon. Wow, Antonio, that's what's happening, man. Leo season. Yo, shout out to you, man. Shout out to you, Antonio. This one's for you, bro. Yeah, happy birthday, man, for real. Happy birthday. Enjoy that, bro. We definitely have to connect when all these bags blow up. All right, for real. First place. Will XRP tokens be fully utilized on the ledger or will the XRPL primarily be used as a highway for CBDCs and stable coins? So uh, first place, um, good question. <laughs> of course, it's called the XRP ledger. So XRP is fully utilized on that on that um, on that ledger. You know what I mean? Or that's used to secure it. Uh, kind of, if I could just go back to this right here, first place. So like we're saying, like we're saying, all of this is on the XRPL or on a private XRP ledger. What's securing it, as we can see, like, for example, with stable coins or CBDCs, like they're moving over here, what's actually securing it, like we're saying, what's actually bridging these these banks, these institutions and everything interoperable is sustainable. All of that is this XRP. So 
uh, XRP is is it's going to be primarily used, but you're saying the high the highways obviously yeah these these highways like like this is going to be yen going over for francs francs going over for uh for pounds pounds going over for euro you get what i'm saying but at the same time what's securing that network is going to be your xrp tokens and obviously like we already showed you guys when you have all of that value for example you mint trillions dollars on that ledger or something but you need to actually have to, um, for example, to uh, interact with all of that. You're going to be operating with XRP. You get what I mean? To to buy that, to to interact with, like I'm saying, you're going to be interacting with XRP. It's going to be on the XRP ledger. All of those, all of those stable coins, even the, um, you know, the stable coins or whatever it is, that asset, it's going to be boosting up that value because you're using that uh, that native token. You get what I'm saying? But first place, appreciate you asking that question. Beachy checking in. My God, appreciate you. Appreciation. Vigan 007. Yes, yes. To the moon, brother. To the moon. Heather Michelle, just finished your algo vid. Thanks for the link to Mexi. Anyone, any one where I can store uh, CPH offline. So right now, there is no real place to store your ciphers offline. Right now, where we've seen Heather is a place, um, of course, the mobile wallet um, I've seen on Apple. We've got mixed reviews about Android. Some people it works, some it doesn't. Not really sure about that, but you can get it on the Google Play Store. Again, all of these little iffy, sussy little, you know, moves for the reason why you can't exactly get it where you want it to be. All, you know, there's typos in the white paper. What's going on here? What's going on there? I really do think that's by design. Personally speaking, you could say whatever you want about that. But, um, uh, you know, uh, you know, but what she's talking about here, guys, there is a link in the, uh, in this description, I do believe, and in the link of our most recent video for Mexi, uh, we, they pretty much reached out to us and they were making sure for the U.S. listeners, you guys can go out without the KYC, use our link, and then you can use Mexi without the KYC. You get what I'm saying? So obviously, uh, Mexi is where you guys could buy Cypherium, use our link, and then from there, you guys could sign up on Mexi, and then, of course, you can grab yourself some Cypherium. So that's a great thing there. Climbing back up to the mountain here. Who we got? Who we got? I still, Rudy Pooh says, I still use my grandma's quilt. I dig it. <laughs> Diggers Golden Shovel says, I'm digging. I'm digging. Loving it, bro. Please hit the like button if you're still listening. DP, keep up the good work, brother. Thank you, DP. Thanks for the visit, man. Thank you for the visit. David Scott still up in here. Don't forget to say a prayer for the no corners. Yes. Yes, David. Let's go ahead and take a moment of silence in prayer for the no corners. That's good. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you now that David Scottsdale is reminding our community to pray for all of those people that don't have cryptocurrency. Even though you actually care about them, even though you know that they don't have cryptocurrency, we pray that you'll give them the new idea, the presence, the wisdom to buy XRP, to buy XDC, to buy XLM, to buy Algorand and IOTA, and to tell their friends and family so that they don't miss out on one of the greatest wealth transfers of our lifetime. We thank you, Lord, that you listen and that is powerful with you and possible in Jesus name. Shalom. Wow, David Scottsdale. Good stuff, brother. Appreciate you reminding us. Barbara, more than ready for the moonshot across the board for the ISOs, Ted and ISO family. Thanks for all your great videos, Ted. Thank you, Barb. I appreciate you for real tuning up in here. We're going to continue to be uh, dedicated to this thing. You know, um, <laughs> you guys let us know, you know, give us some feedback. Give us some feelings about how you've been feeling about Live Capital. I think now that we've been, you know, getting to a point, I think, we, you know, we want to put out that feedback out there so we can assess and everything uh, through every new quarter so we can continue to grow as a cohesive community. You know, I think that's really important. But yes, we are all ready for those moonshots for real. But at the same time, I hope you guys have been look through our stuff in December. OK, the spirit of wisdom speaks through this channel. It was telling you guys to be prepared for this kind of uncertainty last winter around Christmas. I remember it. All right. For real. Shiny spell. 
First place, will retail XRP be valued differently than the permission ledger XRP that is controlled by central banks? No, no. Uh, first place, crypto, we actually have a video we posted on Instagram. We actually address, uh, David Schwartz addressed that question right there. Uh, first place, follow us over on Instagram, my dude. You can see that video right there. You know what I mean? I'm not going nowhere, man. Just go ahead and do that right now. If you're still listening, go over to Instagram. You can see that uh, right there. I think it was in one of our most recent, one of our recent posts. One of our most recent posts. Yep. Norman Herbert said, price of XRP on both ledgers are the same. It could not be otherwise. David Schwartz, that's the truth. David Scottsdale said, Ted hypes God. No complaints over here. Right on, guys. I hope you guys aren't complaining about our love for Christ. We want you guys to continue to know that we're, uh, you know, praying for you, making sure you guys know that we're uh, coming from a real place. You know, it's it's interesting. You know, a lot of people feel like you believe in Jesus. What? What? It's a time these days. It's definitely a time. But those same people, like I said, I have encountered so many I have encountered so many people, like I said, that are just like, I don't know about this this crypto stuff, but this XRP, bro, this XRP is it, okay? So, you know. But yeah, we, we, we definitely want you guys to know what's up. Connecting with you guys, okay? Connecting with you guys. TK, what up, Mr. Ted? TK, appreciate you, man. TK, 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 you up in here. New one, loving it. Norman says Ripple is not buying Celsius. They're interested in its assets. Good stuff. Exactly right. That does clear that up. So that's that's that. Ripple was saying that they're pretty much buying up their assets, outside assets at the same time. I'm sure they're probably at some kind of a discount or something like that since you obviously have Celsius in some kind of a bankruptcy uh, bankruptcy situation. Mike McLean's up in here. If you up in here, family, what's up? What's up? What up, Ted Talk Money? Thoughts on Cello? Good stuff. We could talk Cello. We could talk cello because I've actually been eyeing cello recently. Let's see. So uh, right here, I'm bring you guys over to uh, Coin Market Cap one time, just so we can get ourselves connected to cello real quick. Mike McLean's oh uh, day one, day one. Appreciate you being up in here. Now, Mike, one thing I'm thinking about. One thing I'm thinking about. You have 514 mil already in here. That's a pretty solid market cap. Not bad but a billion, 1.1 billion, look at that. So you, like I said, you have more than 50% of these coins coming in. But at the same time, this is what I really respect. This is a coin, okay? This is a coin, this is no no joke. They have their own network on this thing. What I really do love, and like I said, uh, uh, the guy XX has did a awesome, awesome breakdown uh, of this, but what I really do like is the, the bridge, the cello bridge, communities built on cello ideas built on cello ub swap they have an ecosystem moolah lending built on cello mobile first lending protocol it's beautiful y'all beautiful all right love that theme song y'all love that theme song But no, Cello is the business though. Cello is definitely, definitely the business. Um, especially with their Cello Gold. They're actually associated with, uh, they have uh, gold as well. Um, hook this up for y'all. Hey, you got that right. Let me do this one. Yeah, <laughs> check that out. All right, but yeah, Cello is the business, man. Uh, the Cello Bridge is really what I like. Cello Bridge is definitely the one that I uh, that I like. The one that I like. Check out this ecosystem one time. The average crypto wallet address is 42 characters. Send money to accounts, not characters. 
to contacts, not characters. Start sending crypto to anyone in your contact list. If you guys didn't know, Celo is all about mobile phones. It's a mobile phone, like blockchain, mobile phone network. Everything is all mobile. Uh, they have one, they have a wallet that does work on the desktop. They do have ledger support and it looks like they have staking as well, which is cool. Uh, DeFi also on Celo. So you have Ubiswap, mobile first decentralized exchange. Yeah, Celo has some things going on with it. That's the thing, man. All of these networks have ecosystems. You know, it's really reminiscent of like we're talking about with Ready Player One, you know. But yeah, man, good stuff. Marvin Davis checking in. He said, sup, Ted. What's up, Marvin? How you feeling? Hope you've been feeling good about your ISO bags. TK, do you think ETHGATE personnel will be held accountable? Personally, I do think that they're uh, they're shielded. You know, will there actually be any kind of jail time for Hinman? Any kind of jail time for any of these SEC commissioners? We'll see. I'm not sure if you know. We'll, we'll see. All right. A lot of things have been surprising. That's really where you have to stay with your faith for real. Uh, but my personal opinion, you know, will they be held accountable? I hope justice is served on everyone involved. Everyone involved. All right. <laughs> Grim, what's suppressing the price of XDC? So good question, man. I personally do believe that the sentiment towards XDC is kind of shifted. Uh, at the same time, I, I <clears throat> suppression. What is suppressing it? You know what I mean? Here's the thing. You know, it's said that your big bull run here, this bull run, right? And this bull run was testing the network that every time that you have these big spikes, not every time, but when you had these big spikes, early 21 right here, March 21, right here, what is this? August 21 was the testing of these networks. So since they actually, I guess, had a, had a successful test, you know, obviously people have been shaving off those, uh, shaving off those profits. And now it looks like we're actually on our way back up to what we're gonna be doing. Uh, what where we were previously were at as you can see we already we bopped all the way back down here And now we can get ourselves to a decent support actually following what we actually had all the way back in February 21 You hear what I mean? So we could definitely hopefully you we could see that it, it looks like we found ourselves a decent support so far um, Looking on the day you know what I mean? Obviously if I make this I can make this uh, look like the month show you guys the month Yeah, it's looking pretty similar See what I'm saying? Yeah, it looks like you're recovering. It's recovering. So we shall see. And like I said, we just have to have, if we have another test of the network, like I said, we have the ICC, we have the ICC that's coming out with new uh, trade law, you know, every, every three days, it seems like more and more developments that are happening with the ICC. Oh my bad, y'all can't even see the freaking chart. Oh my God. <laughs> So look at this, look at this guys. So the XDC, this is what I was talking about. Uh, the XDC, this, the surprise suppression possibly will, could be coming in. Like I said, you had the testings of the market, uh, the testings of the network when you had this right here, this was a, the testing of the network, right? They're saying that there was actually testing, stress testing the XDC network. And then from here you had another one. But since there people have been, you know, eating off of those profits. But what I'm saying is it looks like now based off these monthly, these are monthly candles. Now you can see that it's already bounced right back off from where that is. So if there's any kind of suppression that we'd be seeing from XDC guys, clearly we're seeing that we can actually have ourselves have something to the upside. Get what I'm saying? So this is what we all would definitely hope. Obviously we, um, and I'm not, you know, being being conceded or nothing but and once we get to that point let us let us get to 10 cents everybody would be so glad but we could take advantage right here at three cents for our xdc looks like we have some support here coming in from tk tk was just checking in i appreciate you man just dropping dropping some in you know if you have a question my dude let me know oh right here tk way back machine october 1st 2021 sec court case over with ripple thoughts way back machine october 1 Way back, October 1st, 2021, SEC court case over with Ripple. I'm a little confused, TK. Let me know, man. You're still up in here. Uh, reword that for me so I can understand uh, that question a little better. Help me out with that one so I can understand that. SEC court case. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's actually take a, take a look back. I'm showing y'all a lot. 
but whatever. By the month, October. Let's see what we got. October October 1st. 21. Ah, that was October. That was a year before they did this. That was a year before they did that. So October. Wow. So that was where they mentioned it. Now, that's interesting. Now, if I'm understanding this right, TK, you're saying that the the announcement more so was that there was going to be a, you know, the, the court case was going to be over because that's what I'm noticing is that right here in October, right here, this monthly October candle, since then, it's been on a decline. It's been on a decline. So, you know, and, and honestly, this this downward wedge really started, if you wanted to say it really, you know, say we really started it in August, a little before October, but really October was the announcement. And then something happened to where you had a bearish, a real bearish uh, pattern here for three months bullish to then down three more months so interesting tk appreciate you man uh being being up in here definitely let me know if you uh had any more questions lobo happy birthday esito happy birthday esito lobo del cash d benders there is a desktop wallet for cypherium which i use okay cool d benders uh heather if you are listening yeah i guess there is a desktop wallet you can use um again see what i'm saying i'm getting mixed reviews when it comes down to it i think i tried to download that desktop wallet and then it you know some funky stuff happened so i don't know man we've been covering cypherium since we looked into it and honestly you know mystery mystery equals money you get me re what are your thoughts about the sec delaying the case to give swift time to develop to give swift time to develop their own solution to give Swift, oh, what are your thoughts about the SEC delaying the case to give Swift time to develop their own solution? Uh, no, 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 I don't think so. Uh, you know, we're talking about technology that goes all the way back to the 70s. They want Ripple, they want XRP to run complementary with Swift, but at the same time, it's it's going to have place, but for as a legacy system. XRP, they already know, XRP smokes the competition. They, uh, they already knew that XRP was faster than Visa. Transactions were running faster than Visa back in 2017, 2018. You know what I mean? So this is industry wide, how, how vital the Ripple net is, how vital the XRP ledger is. And for years and years and years behind the scenes, they've known this. That's why you can have the monopoly, the ETH gate. Let's push this XRP thing down. Because like I said, this, let me show y'all this, hold up. RE, this is the big picture, all right? This, this is the big picture. This is what we're investing in. This is what we want. You get what I mean? Because we're talking about geopolitical factors, a standard that goes beyond governments and policy makers. You don't want some kind of rinky dink world bridge currency. Oh, it's so little cheap. It's so cheap. Anybody can get it. No, or it needs to be cheap so we can operate the network. No, no. David Swartz and himself already said it. It doesn't make sense for this thing to just be dirt cheap for it to actually operate. You know what I mean? This is going to be used, but over the years the manipulation and the and the propaganda has been put out there to make people feel like oh well xrp doesn't have to have value to move value across these networks you get what i mean and i'm telling y'all it doesn't work that way people feel like oh well maybe there's a private ledger where the xrp is 30 40 50 000 a piece david schwartz also told y'all it's not like that so once we have utility activated once we actually have a flip of the switch man but i'm giving y'all a lot I'm giving y'all a lot, but I don't think I don't think it's going to use. I don't think that's the that's the case personally. All right. Let me see here. All right. Let me get back to me. All right. Can I talk? Y'all going to give me my flowers now for calling LTN being a failure? Yeah, y'all. I mean, I mean, we OK. Can I talk? We I, we brought dropped that on YouTube or um on Patreon months ago, months ago. But yeah, for real, for real. David Scottsdale, right on, man. Right on. Lobo, appreciate you. Shalom, shalom. Word, word. Mr. Wright, prayer on YouTube. Much respect. Hope you don't get put in YouTube jail. 
Mr. Wright, thanks for being a part of this crypto community. Sadja, what's the real stronghold on lobster? So right here, I'd put, show you guys real quick. Right here one time, so uh, boom. So the real, the real one that I would say on lobster, Sadja, oh, snoop. <laughs> The real one I would honestly say when it comes down to it on uh, on Lobster is the, the first one, uh, whenever you search Stronghold. Now, right now, honestly, if you really just wanna know, go with this one, go with this one. This means Stronghold themselves, they contacted the co uh, CoinMarketCap and updated their contract address on their listing here. So this is the official one. Uh, copy this address over here into your Lobster just to verify that you have real Stronghold hold if you appreciate what live capital is doing continue to be a part of this community all right first place crypto shalom shalom mr right christian worldview is so rare and so needed and so refreshing what's your favorite non iso coins well mr right i could talk a little bit about that we do uh mostly talk about iso right now but um you know, if you guys really want to talk about it, my favorite, uh, my, you know, my favorite, I'll tell you guys, uh, you know, going through here, uh, some things I've been having some ideas on, of course, DAG, DAG is a favorite of mine. Uh, we're going to be, we, I was preparing a, uh, preparing a stargazer, uh, review for you guys earlier today. So we're going to be dropping that, uh, for you guys soon. Uh, but Constellation Dag is a beast. I mean, a freaking monster. So since the crash, since the actual, uh, you know, the Black Swan happened, uh, <laughs> Constellation has recovered. Okay, if you guys don't know, anytime you go to an asset on Coin Market Cap, check out the three month, the three month uh, chart. You can actually see the real, uh, the real value of the crypto once we're back uh, to excuse me, once we're back to uh, the real real point here, and this is a testament, man. For real, for real, all the volatility that we're seeing with Bitcoin, and then now your altcoins are actually having their place, this is real, you get what I mean? So the three months, it got all the way down here, and this is what I'm saying, shout out the people that took advantage. When the markets were looking ugly, that's when you were supposed to be buying up so much crypto. You get what I mean, and that's what we do. We get we get greedy over here when people are fearful, because now this this is doubled in price since June. That's just what two months ago, a little like a little more than two months ago, so a little less. So yeah, man, uh, Constellation is one that I really enjoy. Uh, you know, one I'm gonna say that I you know. <laughs> People are really sleeping on. I, I'm gonna really say this one. I know I'm, you know, I sound like the rap game putting it out there, but to really have one like one popular blue chip crypto that I'm kind of into is Polygon Matic, kind of just looking into it a little bit. Um, and especially obviously Disney taking advantage of them. Now there's 1.2 million uh, people on the watch list looking at it. This is obviously, you know, a, a top, top. 101 i think it's going to be uh pretty pretty valuable in the future this is a 10 million supply so i can see this being in your two digits eventually you know what i mean um moving forward here though it's not all about the top 100 obviously hadera is in there hadera is one of my one uh favorite one of my favorite non one non uh, iso coins Sorry if y'all, if y'all, you know, I'm I'm not gonna hit you with the yeah, the new monkey doo doo coin NFT. Uh, yeah, did you guys hear about the new DeFi that's going on with Pickle Finance? Sorry y'all, I'm I have a whole family. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to be dipping my toes in this, that, and the other. You feel me? If it's about utility, I've been in this crypto space since 2017. You know what I'm saying? I'm not really trying to waste my time on. A whole lot of nothing but at the same time there are some places some sparks obviously that people are really moving around it's just funny the community obviously being on this side really dealing with these different communities is just really interesting and of course really seeing how this money manipulates people in this crypto market you know this is 24 7 365 so you know it can really take people over uh, Sia coin has been around for so long Sia coin was really file coin before Filecoin was even around, Sia coin, but that's the thing, their proof of work, 100% uh, is minted, but this thing has been around for so long. Look at this, y'all. This network's been around since 2015, okay? 
so yeah this is an og on the block for real but at the same time the price action is kind of doo-doo all right but yeah enough about that see I'm, I'm just so used to hitting you guys with such a iso message i don't really talk about anything else but if you want to i can HGPT Steve, will you be doing a video about the Lycan Sheen Exchange? Well, Steve, I can. I can. You know, if we have any LCX community members, we just might need to connect with us and see about that. I could do that. Here's the thing about LCX and why I really don't cover, you know, uh, too much about it. Because if I'm not mistaken, let me check real quick. The last I checked, it was ERC. Yeah. Yeah, that's the reason why we really don't cover too much like when it comes on to uh, LCX because I was uh, I was a little confused when it came down to uh, energy web token, but it was actually a coin. I thought it was a uh, ERC 20, but we actually did a review for EWT energy web token. Fantastic. Another sleeper that people are, you know, not even paying attention to energy web token is a monster you know what i mean it has connections with the uh the paris climate accord and pretty much every crypto associated with that and man that's a sleeper but lcx is one this is one of the highly regulated exchanges y'all and we're talking about a regulator or a, an exchange that's going to be about that's going to be around uh for uh after the after regulations after the purge if you will LCX is definitely one. If you're cool using your MetaMask, if you're cool with using the Ethereum network, go right ahead. You have your LCX right here. Uh, you can grab, grab some for six cents. I mean, if you guys want me to do a, a review on it, we can. You know, we can. We can. It's definitely worth doing one. It's just, it's it's ERC20. And the Ethereum network is broken. Boo boo, caca. But we'll see. Sajja, first time being here live. I must say the vibes are immaculate. Appreciate y'all. Yeah, man, this is how we keep it over here. We're definitely about world-class presentation. We're definitely about making sure that the people coming over here to this community can feel loved, welcomed, and that when they leave, that they feel good, that you're blessed. So that's the thing. Every time that you come across this thing, it's never by mistake. What we do is make sure that our viewers and our community members and members are constantly prayed for. And then as well, that you actually receive a empowerment to prosper. So that just might come in the form of just unexpected income. It might come from in the form of a uh, investment idea or anything like that. Ted talk money, talk money, lift capital really represents speaking your um, speaking your dreams into manifestation and as well, really everything that the Lord tells you to do. It's walking in destiny, walking in purpose. So the reason why you see lift capital talk money is because that's what we do over here. We're believing truly. It, it, it takes belief. You know what I mean? Now, here, here's the thing. Here's the best part about the belief that we're believing. All right. This is like a no brainer personally to me. OK, this is juicy to me. I'm ready to see this happen. Right. But for the people that don't have any XRP and you, you know, you're instantly just put into a digital world and you have to deal with the digital dollar and the central bank fully controls and holds and uses your central bank digital currencies. Well, you know, you try to tell them you try to tell them. Right. Live Capital surely told you so, you know. But yeah, man, definitely, uh, definitely sat jive. If, if you know, I'm, I'm glad you were able to feel the blessings over here on this side because we definitely want our people to feel that way. XDC, you think we'll be able to participate in the global system and reap our gains without a digital passport? So um, that is a good question, XDC. Uh, possibly we will have to have some kind of digital po uh, passport, but. There's gonna be this thing called uh, sovereignty, sovereignty. I've said so much XDC, I'm gonna leave it right there. Connect with us on Patreon, join this channel, I could tell you a few more details. Mr. Wright, the reason XRP will not break out this week is because my bags are only three fourths filled. I hear you, Mr. Wright, uh, <laughs> you know, for real. You know, uh, let let XRP be where it is. We still need time, right? We still need to get to certain levels. We still wanna get to our certain goals, all right? so. We'll, we're going to keep on dollar cost averaging XRP is I'm, I'm telling you, it's going to be your number one ISO crypto. And then from there, choose out of your chosen five. If, you know, we have people that choose one. We have people that choose uh, three out of five that people, some people that have all five. You know what I mean? It's all really up to you. Just just get your thumb and get your foot in. 
you know and you know if 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 i don't know what they do on other channels i'm not dipping and diving in other camps i'm, I'm busy preparing what i'm preparing for y'all you know i'm chefing i'm in the kitchen i cooks i cooks you get me so that's what i do but yeah man that's the truth bro for real i'm reading up here let me, let me bring this on down who we have up in here Barbara says V Chain is a good utility one, not ISO though. Definitely, that is a, a Chinese a ICC <laughs> a C, a CCP uh, uh, asset right there. V Chain, no, um, for real, real stuff though. It looks like their ecosystem is growing. You have check this out, you guys. You see, you have about 2.3 billion. Wow, this is a this is a hitter. This is a hitter. If you guys can't now, here's here's one thing I'll tell you. You know, I'm not really about wrapped wrapped tokens, but since this is a, you know, really difficult to get because this is a, you know, a Chinese, this has Chinese roots and everything. Um, this is the one time that I would say I would make the excuse to get wrapped coins because this one right here is super solid. What Barb is saying is the truth. It is good utility, right? non iso that's straight but this is what really turns me on about it is because you still have only a few more tokens that are going to be entering into circulation the ecosystem is popping up and there's so much money behind it so if you can't get yourself if you can't get your hands on any real v chain and you got yourself some beans go ahead and um and utilize like i'm saying uh some uh wrapped uh v chain you get what i mean i think that would definitely be the case because um this is the business. This is this is one of those again. This is one of those websites to where you could tell there's so much money. This isn't that Solana moving graphics, all that stuff. No, this is boring enough to where I know that corporations, institutions, real money is actually doing what they need to do on this. You get what I'm saying? There there's more utility versus visual. OK, if you all want to see something, you saw that website. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Let's go right here. Yeah, yeah, let's look on this website. Mm, yeah, what the hell is that? That's supposed to be a S, then it goes to a circle. What the? See, and I'm distracted. Powerful, fast. Bro, you shot down like nine times in the last three months. See what I'm saying? Ooh, purple. Yeah, man. Millennial, right? Gen Z, TikTok. Loving it, right? Man, please miss me with that. I'm cool on the Solana. Mm mm. But anyway, not here to bear anybody's bergs. D Wild asked Adam or Anchor. D Wild, appreciate you being up in here. He said, What up, Lift Capital? Why is it that most cryptos with a lower circulation supply are at a higher price and cryptos with utility, bank coins, and great partnerships are low in price? Good stuff, man. So D Wild, I appreciate you. You sound like somebody that's new over here. I appreciate your curiosity. And you know what? The spirit of wisdom has brought you over here because Lift Capital actually has what you need. So one thing I will tell you, when it comes down to your lower circulation supply, Bitcoin, Quan, whatnot, people are about scarcity, scarcity, scarcity. It's more so the spirit of greed that's just driving that thing up. Now, Quant is one good example of where you have utility coupled with scarcity to where it works, okay? Okay. Honestly, one good point when it comes down to quant is that they're not going to just boost up the supply out of nowhere because the overledger only needs three lines of code. See, that's the thing when it came down to wads pay and what they did, they completely bamboozled the community. They had people believe that they only had 190, uh, uh, only 190,000 or 190 million tokens. Here we go. Yep, only 190 million tokens. And really, I think this number is truly now a billion. You get what I'm saying? This truly this number now is truly only a billion. Um, they, they, you know, uh, bridged over to different networks because uh, they bridged over to different networks to boost interoperability. Right now, they only have Ethereum on here, y'all. The, the case is they uh, they say that they bridge to Algorand, XDC, all of this stuff. But as you guys can see, the community is dumping, completely dumping uh, on people. You get what I'm saying? But I think a lot of people are believing, oh, well, the max supply is still 250 million. I'm going to keep on putting thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars into Wads Pay because eventually they'll come back. You see what I'm saying? This back back way back when this was supposed to be a heavy coin. You see this thing got all the way back up to uh 31 cents 
But there is evidence, y'all, there is evidence out there about the guy Anish tweets to where every time these were pumps, dump, pump, dump. Then they prepared another one, pump, See, between here, this was an actual community, community development. People were actually coming in, right? And then you had this big pump, because we were covering, to be honest with y'all, we were covering around here. We were covering Wads Pay. Think I'm, you could look through our library. We were covering Wads Pay around this time. And then around this time, you have another big, huge pump. We were covering that, and now a big dump. Guys, so insider trading with this whole thing, a lot of that stuff. But um, D Wild, again, right back to your question, my man. Uh, cryptos will lower supply, greed. People just see scarcity, that's it, right? When it comes down to utility co tokens, partnerships, banking coins, those having a lower price because their time has not come yet. So for example, when you're having Ripple, XLM, what they're doing, when their time comes, when utility comes, when we need them, when we have the ashes of the legacy system and we need a phoenix that will rise, when we need a solution to the liquidity crisis that the world is witnessing, all of this, when we actually have to have an answer, then we will actually have all of the world's liquidity put on the back of these utility networks. And then from there, the boats will rise. But meanwhile, what are you doing? You're accumulating, you're holding. That's the thing with these cryptos, man. Even looking at Constellation or even Quant, we showed you guys the Quant chart. Shout out to the people that were that were accumulating Quant back at $3, looking at it and knowing, knowing for what it is, because they're up right now, you know? So, but yeah, good stuff, D-Wild. That's a good question. That's a good question. All right. Mike McLean, isn't Celo tied to the IMF somehow? I saw them on a document with XRP, Algo, and IOTA. Yes. Yes, Mike McLean, good stuff. So you are talking about uh, this document right here, my man. Yes, Celo was actually recognized by the IMF and exactly for that. So I do believe that this document, this one I'm gonna be showing you guys right here. Let me show you guys. Let me see if this image shows up. I think I might've just found a little juicer for y'all. Ooh, I might've found a little juicer for y'all. Check this out. All right, Mike, you were asking about Cello. Here it is. Here's the reason why it's recognized by the IMF. Look at this. So this right here, guys, is a uh, is a CBDC. This is a CBDC uh, document uh, by Cello talking about the future of digital currencies. And they're talking about distribution, obviously, of central banks on that central bank money. Look at this connection that they have. Central banks, however, are not the only ones that create money in today's financial uh, system. Obviously, you have uh, creditors and commercial banks that do so. Implementing new systems of digital currencies. Long right, story short, guys, they, Cello is so light and can be used on mobile phones that you can have that bridge from the central bank right to your phone. So when we're talking about interoperability, you having that XRP ledger, then from there it's interoperable with this Cello bridge. From there, you can have your digital dollar, digital euro, digital pound, and we're all we're all moving together. Like I said, if I have somebody in Hong Kong that's sending me some finances or something, I can send them some dollars, they'll get whatever it is that they need, or rubles, or yen, or whatever. No longer can there be sanctions, no no longer will all that be. I think it's going to be different. <laughs> now, this is actually, this has connections with the IMF. This is what I'm showing you guys, but I think the image, hold up. Let me show you guys. I think the image I want to show you that Mike was talking about. Let me see if I can find it here. Let's see this. Because you have a lot of connections with the IMF with, with, with cello and a lot of good uh innovation so check this out y'all this is the document this is the document that mike is talking about this is the the document this is from the imf uh somebody you know obviously a scan of it let's actually see what they're talking about here with cello so and again notice the verbiage all right notice the verbiage now obviously who else do we see on there old solana right old solana's on there <laughs> Uh, right on, right on. So, Mike, look what they're saying. What we're saying here: Cello is a mobile-first, open-source POS blockchain network. Open-source, mobile-first, open-source proof-of-stake blockchain. Their tech stack 
and suite of tools are designed for smartphone users to send, receive, and store money. Right there, okay? You get what I'm saying? Right there. The, the difference with when you have Cypherium and the difference when you have with Cello, it's different because you have this support from the IMF, right? The IMF is putting this out there. Uh, Cello has a ledger close time of approximately five seconds with a thousand transactions per second, which is which isn't bad. But the point is, is that this is a part of this uh, part of this thing. Now, notice, of course, look at this clown that they added in there. Now, of course, I'm not getting, you know, not getting on you guys. But long story short, if, if the Solana network actually worked, it'd be great. But the thing is, is you guys put out this expensive piece of junk. You get what I mean? You you know, you guys had put a little bit more time to it, you know, but of course, obviously you had a cool, funky display. But right here, Solana is a proof of stake blockchain network with a focus on scale for mainstream adoption modeled after mobile broadband data services and hardware. So right now they made something that was they made it to scale. But obviously we're seeing it's not able to. It enables fast transaction times with the ability to scale as usage of the protocol grows without relying on layer two systems or sharding. Following resources are available. Like I'm saying, guys, it, it's just certain things. You know, the IMF isn't perfect. You get what I'm saying? They're not, obviously they're not perfect, but not all of these assets are the ones you really wanna invest in. And that's the one you don't. Uh, Cardano, you know, I'm going to keep my mouth off Cardano because you have a really alive Cardano community. You know, um, I, like I said, there Cardano is being primed. Cardano is being primed as your um, blockchain 3.0. Once Bitcoin is recognized as old tech, once everyone recognizes that Ethereum is broken and just it's done for, who's going to be the best? Who's going to come around next? Cardano. Cardano. Who we have here? HGPT Steve, appreciate the uh, support, my man. According to the Lichen Sheen white paper, it is blockchain agnostic, just like Quant. Much love, keep it up, brother. Right on, man. And that's what everyone says. That's what everyone says every time we have a problem with a uh, with a ERC twenty, you know, a ERC twenty project or something like that. Because it, that's that's true, you know. Most of these. For example, there that's a token, okay? Obviously, these are quant tokens on the Ethereum network. Like and Sheen LCX tokens, right? I want a quant coin. I want a uh exchange coin. You know what I mean? A LCX coin. You know what I mean? And that's just me personally. Now, you know, obviously, time and opportunity. You, you know, get yourself some LCX, get yourself some quant. And when they make a bridge, possibly, you know. But it's dealing with those gas fees. It's dealing with, you know, all of that extra hee haw to really move it over. Now, yes, you could just you have it on your MetaMask. You could just look at it. OK, cool. You know, fine. That's that's cool. But Steve, uh, yeah, when they're blockchain agnostic like that, I'm really hoping that we really do see, you know, a, a bridge to the other side. You know what I mean? Because there's going to be a, a great ETH migration. You know what I mean? I really do see that. You're going to have a lot of developers that are going to be coming over and they're going to get the, the ecosystem is growing, but it's not scalable. We're going to see how this merge is going to go. You know, we're going to see how it's going to go. More and more of these ecosystems are not supporting this merge. They're not. They're not. No, it's not happening. The proof of work fork. Uh -uh. Kepster, it's been so long since we've had any positive movement that it's hard for me to get excited about about it when it happens. I'm always expecting a dip to follow. Well, Kepster, man, I could feel that. I could. I understand where, where that comes. Well, you know that sentiment. And you, will, th with time, I believe that your resolve will get a little better. You know, what we're waiting for over here on this utility side is something that ears haven't seen and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> eyes haven't seen and ears haven't heard you know what i mean um it's it's a beautiful thing you know xrp will revitalize the world of finance and there's so much evidence to it you know real world connections not you know basing our whole financial future on one gambit no it's not that you know it's not that at all um 
we're seeing those changes happen. We're witnessing a change happen. And now there is a ISO standard that's gonna be put in place to pretty much solidify this new change. So when we're having price manipulation happen in the market, when we're having, you know, people are bullish, people are bearish, all of that, I'm fearful this day, I'm greedy this day, you know, all of that, you'll get to the point to where you could be completely in Zen Capster and be able to, again, what am I holding? All right, am I staking? Cool, got my staking coming in, got your DeFi protocols going in. Are you doing your own research, looking for your next thousand X gem? You know what I mean? It's, it's so much that you could dig in through. NFTs are a thing. Think for yourself. You could develop a new dApp for yourself. Create your own community. You know, a lot of different things, man. Um, but positive, positive movement right now with these utility tokens bruh you want to take advantage if these prices are low cheap good get them you know accumulate not financial advice or anything beckon anyone heard of this yet beckon beckon never heard of it never heard of that mr right coins kid was saying when xrp closes above 40 cents we will be off to the races hmm See what the word is we said xrp closes above 40. okay okay says the coins kid says the coins kid says we says off to the races eh uh yes yeah yeah coins kid said that we had that as well we got that as well. We got that as well, man. We got that as well. Hopefully we can get there. Hopefully we can get there. Mr. Wright, is it worth getting 100,000 XDC or is there still time? You still have a little bit more time. Uh, 100,000 XDC is a good start. Obviously, it's a good place to be. You know, we all want to get there. I'm not sitting here saying, you know, I'm really there all the way. But 100,000 XDC is the movement for sure. Uh, TK, Emily with Stellar, Emily, Emily with Stellar, Emily with from the Quantum Stellar Initiative showed screenshot from way back machine showing court case was over. Wondering if you ever saw that Emily from QSI, TK, if you are still in here, bro, TK, if you are still in here, you know, we don't do that funky whiplash stuff, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. Wright, the, de the delay is because of the Basel IV requirements. Banks need to add trillions of tier one assets to their balance sheet. That takes time. Okay, that's good. That's good. I can dig that theory. You know, uh, Basel IV requirements do require that. Obviously, we're having a lot of central banks ramping up with their gold. They've been acquiring more and more and more and more gold to their balance sheets. So, Mr. Wright, I could dig that sentiment. I can really dig that theory for real. After that comes the ESDR that will begin testing soon. Liking where you're thinking, man. Continue to connect with us for real. I wonder where XX gets these graphics or where he gets his info if he makes them. Oh yeah, David Scottsdale, XX makes his graphics. Uh, he pretty much just compiles the information together. He deep dives and then puts it, he puts it all together. He deep dives, he, I mean, that's what I'm saying. He puts, puts all the information, puts it all together and then makes the diagrams himself. Uh, obviously he works together with, uh, in collaboration with Utility Theory uh, and they uh, they go they make those uh, graphics together. But big shout out to him, man. You have a lot of uh, XRP Twitter accounts that'll just edit his tags out and then use them on their Twitter. We'll just tweet them, you know, as as if they're their own, you know. And then people will spread those around, and then nobody knows where who made the actual graphic. You know what I mean? XX produces all of those graphics. So want to put that out there. Lift Capital is standing right there with XX for the work that he does because honestly, his stuff checks out. You get what I mean? It's it's one thing for me to explain it to you guys and talk to you guys about it, but if you actually have a visual a visual of it and it's true, man, I appreciate what he does. So, for real, you know, it's it's just all good information. It's real information, and then he just puts it together. In the chat, what are your favorite? <laughs> in the chat, what are your favorite non ISO coins? Mine would be Avax and Cardano. Right on, right on, right on. Somebody had said E Gold. Word, word. D Wild said, appreciate you, Live Cap. Bullish on cello for show. Bullish on cello for show. Gotta get that for show. E Gold, E Gold, and V Chain. Word, word. The utility bull run has not happened yet. I know that's right. 
Quantum Resistant Ledger, yes, loving it, loving it. Apollo is one of my favorites. Shawnee's Bell, checking in, checking in. Mr. Wright said, this is a great community. I am a fan. Continue to connect with us, man, for real. You didn't find this channel by mistake. We're going to continue to give you what you need because it's beyond cryptocurrency. Guys, we receive from a play. We have an unlimited power source. And, you know, we're not your mainstream hee-haw, man. We're not going to tell you just, you know, what you want to hear. We're not going to tell you, you know, just, you know, to make you believe, you know, um, keep you in a fantasy. You know, this channel isn't known to feed your illusion you know what i mean um look you can go plenty other places for that all right but over here you're definitely going to know um uh, we keeps the truth around mr right is quant's use case strong enough on its own or is the value of quant in the networks it's building with banks or and corporations uh good question good question the technology behind quant is there the overledger is serious the fact that they could do all of this in three lines of code is mind blowing. But I do think that uh, the guy Gilbert, it, you know, he's a beast. He has his own ISO standard. He really does work, you know, with people uh, in that case. It's really good that we're seeing XRP on on kind of a on kind of a pump. This is really good. Uh, but um, does its value is it strong enough on its own? I, I do. I do believe it is. I do believe it is strong enough on its own. My only thing, my only thing, guys, is um, the whole thing with quant and just like I'm saying, it's blockchain agnostic. That's great, but it's ERC20, man. So of course, you know, I'm not really trying to push people out. Let me be quiet about all that. Uh, yes, yes. 20,000 cryptos now. Most will not be here in 10 years. Yo, I don't think most will be here in two years. I think that's really what they want. You know, you have all these cryptocurrencies, but at the same time, when they're saying 95 to 99% of them going away, that's because of regulations. They're going to find you if you are making wrong, like they're going to shut down that technology. If you're not within regulations, if you're not within this, if you're not there, you most likely ain't going to be operating, you know? And, you know, some people feel like that sucks. Some people are like, oh, well, you know, that's not right, you know? But hey, we'll see. Jakari's up in here. Jakari got the badge. Jakari's got the badge. Oh, oh, Jakari, shout out to you, bro. Shout out to you, bro. That's what's up. That's what's up. Intelligent soldiers only, ISO gang members right here. Guys, as you already can see, you have Jakari right here, and pretty much all of our members receive a whole badge. We have a whole lineup. It's awesome. Every month, I, I believe every month or three months, you receive a new badge, so you get to flex on everybody in the chat, which is freaking awesome. So good stuff, Jakari. You're looking good. Band Protocol has partnership with Google. Wow. Okay, so you have Hedera already. So it's really good that you're seeing Google really getting down with the DLT. You know what I mean? Really getting down with the DLT and really, really liking that. Um, Band Protocol, though, they've been around for quite a while. What's happened with Bancor? Y'all remember Bancor? Let's see, Band Protocol. Yeah, Band Protocol. Let's see what's up. Now, you know. Now, I'm not going to be hyping up nobody's tokens and stuff. I'm not going to be hyping up nobody's bags, but we could talk about this. Band protocol right here uh, boosted up on for with Google. Let's see what the deal is. Somebody said no max supply. Can't trust it. Ooh, yeah, that's the thing. So you have the total supply right here at 100 million. They can boost. Yeah, they can. They can come in at any time and just uh, flood, flood the network because this is a token. This isn't a coin. Secure, scalable, blockchain agnostic, decentralized Oracle. Okay, yeah, not bad. And they, they linked with Google. Let's actually see if that's the truth. So let's actually see what yeah, you said. Ban protocol, ban protocol linking up. You said ban protocol linking up with Google. You don't say. All right, what we got? Let's see what we have here, y'all. Nah, nah, Ronnie. Come on, Ronnie. Come on, man. Band partnership has... Come on, Ronnie. Google Cloud integrates band protocol. We're happy to announce that band protocol is integrated with Google Cloud public data to enable immediate and accurate analysis of financial time series data. All right, accurate, reliable price discovery mechanism. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, since that came out in April, what has it done? That came out in April of last year. I see looking at a year since. 
All right, let's see what it's done since the Black Swan. Not bad. This is some decent price action. That's interesting. It actually, it actually like pumped during the Black Swan, like right before the Black Swan, it pumped and then dizumped down to a dollar twenty nine. So there's a hundred million of them. I mean, you know, they, I guess they claim to be an oracle. They're cross chained. They're over on BNB. You can get some on Phantom and X die, which is interesting. It's Oracle. It's not bad, you know. Um, you know, Ronnie. Uh, yeah, I guess you can call that utility. Yeah, I guess you can call it utility, Ronnie. Thanks for being in here. Band protocol is an Oracle-like chain link. Mr. Wright, Quant has years of a head start with relationship building in banks. Like and Sheen started this year. Relationships win short term. That's the truth. That is the truth. So really, um, man, like I said, you have the community, the quant community continues to blow up. You have, you know, obviously the scarcity is going to be happening there. You're even having the XDC community linking in because now you had quant community showing XDC network support on the overledger. So like we're saying, guys, the partnerships really go. The partnerships are really what, what really matter. You know what I'm saying? Mr. Wright, Solana is junk. Financial system requires 99.99999% uptime. Solana isn't even close. That's what I'm saying. When I first heard about it, when I first heard about Solana going down, I'm like, what? A blockchain went down? Blockchains are supposed to go. I didn't even, like, I never even heard of that. Like, what do you, like, it forked? You know what I mean? Like, like it was an attack? No, it just went down. Oh, God, you know? Quant and Leichenstein, their partners. Wouldn't be surprised about that. I would like to know a little bit more about that partnership. Let's go ahead and take a look if you want to. I feel like I would have heard a little something about that. I know you have, ah, okay, 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 okay. Is it Lawan? Lawan Williams. Mr. Williams, I appreciate this information, my man. Quant partners with the Lycan Sheen Exchange to advanced CBDC settlement implementation. Wow. By collaborating on research and development and integrating their respective technologies, DLT through leader Quant and crypto asset pioneer LCX will further accelerate the progression towards central bank digital currencies. Operating a regulated trading platform, the LCX Exchange. The Lichtenstein Exchange is building a financial ecosystem for crypto and fiat currencies alike. Now listen to that, guys. The whole Lichtenstein, you know, province, or I think it's out in the Swiss or near Switzerland and everything, its own jurisdiction, you know what I'm saying? Its own, um, gosh, what's the word? But you know what I mean? Like, has its own place, you know what I mean? So already here, Lichtenstein Crypto Asset Exchange from there, they're going to be regulated, already there with IMF. So this is a key thing. When it comes down to ISO cryptos for the heavy, like for your big ROI, like you wanna get some hefty cash real quick, some heavy coins, like I'm saying, your quant right now, now each quant is 120 bucks. You know what I mean? $120. You're getting some heavy coins. Now, will that thing be real heavy in the future? Yeah. Like I said, I call it the whale of the ISOs because it's the heaviest one. You know what I mean? But yeah, good stuff, guys. As you can see, Quan and LCX are partnered. Good stuff, Mr. Mr. Williams. Appreciation. Jimbo said Cardano, baby. Cardano. Okay, Jimbo. You know what, man? Connect with us over on Patreon. I really want to hear your hear your bullish thoughts on Cardano. Jimbo, if you are listening, man, for real. Thoughts on Iran using crypto. BRICS Nations. BRICS Nations. Iran already has talks of joining BRICS Nations. You know what I mean? Uh, also, the uh, the dinar, the dinar over there. Come on, man. They're all about avoiding the sanctions, toppling the dollar. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm not mad at Iran. I'm not mad at North Korea. You know, we really have to check, check out who we've been told is the enemy and why we've been told they're the enemy. You know what I mean? Yo, are we back? <clears throat> Think we back. Yo, we on, we on, we on. Can y'all hear me? Yo, this thing. All right, we back.
There we go. Sorry about the delay, y'all. Don't know what happened. Let me get this back right for y'all. Ask the community, is XRP going to break out this week? More than half, 51% says no. No. All right, we back though, y'all. We back. All right, D-Wild. D-Wild. And I like that profile picture, bro. I like that profile picture. Is it true Ripple is going to buy Celsius? Is it true Ripple is going to buy Celsius? So no. Ripple is not going to buy Celsius or actually after their assets. Okay, since Ripple is or since uh, Celsius is in a bit of a bankruptcy situation and all that stuff, they're pretty much probably going to be acquiring all those cheap, cheap assets uh, that, that Celsius has. So I personally do believe the reason why we have this positive uh, price action right here. I want to show you guys real quick right here. Um, this is on the four hour, but this right here. And this just actually printed a new four hour. This just printed a new one. Uh, so as you guys can see, like I was saying, this candle right here, you know what I mean? This could have easily went bearish. This could have easily went bearish. But to see this positive uh, action here is really good. But uh, no, Ripple isn't going to be buying Celsius, though. They're going to be buying their assets, though, for sure. D Benders, D Benders, what's your opinion on Legacy? Good stuff. So we actually had an interview with the founder of Legacy over there. Really good guys over there, really developing. Uh, last we checked, though, they're just, you know, building out their network, really perfecting it. Uh, really similar to the Tron stack, you know, really similar to how Tron had made their network. And obviously, you guys know how Tron, how, how advanced Tron kind of became in, in a sense but they wanted to perfect it. You know, they really wanted to perfect it over there at Legacy. So big shout out to the guys over there, what they're doing. Um, I think they're gonna continue to advance. I think one of the uh, co-founders was, you know, he does uh, news interviews and everything like that. So it's really cheap. We can actually uh, take a look at Legacy. Like I said, I'm not gonna be, you know, pumping anybody's bags or anything like that, but uh, we could be doing our community time and stuff. Obviously you guys know, um, you know, we look, we looks out for the community and everything. So yeah, y'all, let me show you guys Legacy if you're feeling a little lost right here, guys. You can uh, check that out. Like I said, right now, it's uh, pretty much ERC-20 if you grab some on the exchanges, if you're keeping out on the exchanges, I guess. Uh, but like I said, if you want to just move it over and you can, um, you know, put it to your MetaMask or whatever, if that's the case, however you want to do. Uh, but unfortunately, wow. Yeah, it looks like they went through a huge dip today. Wow, that's, <laughs> I guess somebody picked it right back up said good project not sure why it's down so it is a good project um unfortunately yeah, as you guys can see people continue to dump on this project since the black swan um but 21 billion supply you know um yeah they're they're a decent network and everything like i said they're they're working out this is a token these these are legacy you know legacy tokens you know what I mean? Of course, uh, obviously, since they do have a layer one, uh, they have LGC. They do actually have uh, native tokens. Um, they actually do have native tokens that are available. But you, know, you can buy. I know you can buy it on Bitru. You could get it on Bitru. But they like last I checked, like, for example, I think Hotbit was supporting their native. You could withdraw on their actual network. You know what I mean? Actual LRC 20 tokens. You feel me? You buy it on BitTrue. Last I checked, you have to withdraw ERC 20, which is garbage. That's why I hate ERC 20, because like I said, if you're getting yourself like 30 billion or, you know, not 30 billion, but like 30 million uh, legacy tokens, they're probably going to need, if you want to withdraw all of them, at least what, 7 million, you know what I mean? Of those tokens. And it's, it's horrible. You know what I mean? That's like a bank. It's just like a bank, you know? That's exactly the Ethereum network. It, it's just like a bank. I don't understand why people <laughs> why people don't see that, you know? All right, G, uh, JP, checking in, JP. What's happening? What's happening, JP? 
Is that, I think that's the co-founder for Legacy or something. I hope GBEX reaches BNB uh, all-time high. G GBEX reaches BNB's all-time high. Yeah, we would really like that. That would be that would be something. That definitely would be something. DMAC, are you a fan of Crypto.com or Crow? I am. I am. I'm a fan of uh, Crypto.com. Um, their app, you know what they're doing uh, over there. Uh, I like how they just came into LA and just pretty much just bought, just bought the Staples Center, just call it the Crypto.com Arena, and pretty much just uh, every day, everyone is now being more and more introduced to cryptocurrency because of it. You know what I mean? Mass adoption is definitely coming, you know, to LA because of that move. Um, a fan of the actual token myself, eh, you know, it's been around for so long though. Iran just used crypto $10 million. Look it up this week. Stop the op. They're trying to topple the dollar and I'm with it. <laughs> hey, well, look, man, look, uh, you know, a lot of people feel a certain way about that. I'm not saying, you know, against the U.S. I'm not saying you're saying that this isn't a political statement. I'm about a new financial system. I'm I know that this system is broken. I know that, you know, if you're really thinking that debt is just our the only asset that this country has, we're so hot, so far in debt, the whole just debt everywhere. All right. To the point to where it can't really be paid. So if we can actually live in a world, imagine with me a world to where that debt is actually settled to where it's actually settled and that we can actually have no more corruption, but actually building and creating for society, building and creating for humanity. Then we can see what's actually going to happen. You know, then we can actually go to these um, all of these futuristic movies that they've been preparing for us and putting in our minds and everything. You know, because once we have a solution to the world, we not not no more this old, dark, sweaty gears and blood and all that stuff. Now we're going to a future of energy based, gold based, commodity based, natural, sustainable. You know what I mean? So when we come down to the dollar, man, you know, that, hey, we'll see. Joshua Jackson, somebody's watching, bro. Yeah, no doubt about that. No doubt about it. He said, I'd be careful. <laughs> We're not careful around here. Careful for nothing, my man. They watch you, bro. Certain words, the algorithm picks up. Al algorithm picks up when spoken. Joshua, you preach, fam. Word up, man. You know, I'm, um, not, you know. Yeah, I'm going to continue to operate, y'all. I hope you guys appreciate it. You know, Satja, as soon as you start questioning who's the enemy, your stream breaks. Hmm, be careful. <laughs> Yep. You are awesome. Great insight. Ripple will pick at Celsius bones and look for a deal. Word up, y'all. Word up. Okay. Good people. I agree. Josh Jackson. Yeah, looking for another shoulder, maybe. I think thanks for the uh, the comments, y'all. Imagine DeFi lending on XRP. That is what Celsius would give Ripple. Imagine DeFi, right, if Celsius and uh, Ripple XRP actually working together, definitely would be the move, for sure. Mr. Wright, are you talking about Nasera eliminating debt? Mr. Wright, my dude, as my, I have what you need, okay? I have what you need. I have QFS, I have Nasera Gacera, I have, um, God, even, even, you know, you could even see in our last, our last, uh, our last uh, uh, Ted Cave of Mysteries, you can kind of see a little bit of the flavor of the stuff that we talk about. But if you want to get a little bit of that classified information about the new financial system, about the, uh, you know, the quantum financial system or QFS or anything, we have some classified documents, cla classified information. We make exclusive content in those communities. That's the thing. So, Mr. Wright, you know, you're being over here. You're seeing how we do things over here. Dive through our library. Dive, my dude, if you, you know, if you, you know, if you, you know, just coming over here if you don't want to take that leap of faith just yet dive through our library check us out connect with us you get what i mean see how we do things there's a reason why we chose a rocket it's because everyone that is on this channel everybody that subscribes to it they're on it you know what i mean as you come a pause as you come to this community you're getting onboarded you're getting on to the rocket you're getting a part of that great wealth transfer that's why we have our people blessed as we go to the moon you know we're going to be down here it's going to get hot it's going to get uncomfortable you know uh inflation is going to go crazy that's the thing you know people who chase dollars people who chase greed they're never satisfied their hearts are always going to have a hole in it they're always going to be wanting something and trust me if you came over here and like dude why don't you just talk to me about crypto i thought this was about to be ripple ripple cbdc you know what i'm saying but no for real 
we're about the truth over here you get what i'm saying so um real talk though definitely have some information about that definitely you know no uh no kind of conspiracy or anything over here it's just the truth joshua debt is ghost money that's the truth that's what i'm saying like we have uh we did a visualizer in one of our in one of our uh updates to show you guys the visuals of how much what debt really looks like what a million billion trillion dollars really looks like and how you have the national debt for the US is already in itself, I think 113 trillion or 13 trillion dollars. Look, a trillion dollars already in itself is, is enough to pay for anything, right? It's enough to pay for pretty much anything. But 13 trillion, that's, you know, the, and, and, the, and to tell you spiritually, debt just makes you, debt is slavery, for real, for real. That's what debt is, debt is slavery. Spiritually, debt is slavery. If you guys don't know what mortgage, you want to know what mortgage means, mort gauge, mort gauge in, in the Latin or what it really means, death grip, death grip, death grip, mortgage is a debt. It's to hold you a death grip until you die, right? A death grip. You want a mortgage? No, no, no. So that's what I'm saying. Debt is it's an asset, if you will. But at the same time, spiritually, it's slavery. So good stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Charlie Bags. That's what I'm talking about. A real blue wrench. Appreciate you, bro. Philippians 4, 6. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. Period. Period. You know what I'm saying? So, yep, that's what I'm talking about. We are not careful for a doggone thing over here. For real. No algorithm. No, no nothing. You know why? Because we've been put on this mission for a reason. If you're mad, you just mad at somebody. You just mad about somebody telling the truth. You're only hating me because what? We love Jesus. You know, they will hate you because you love me. They hate you because they hate me. You know, you got nobody hates live capital. They hate Jesus. Nobody hates ISO. They hate Jesus. You know? So yeah, real talk. How to put that out there. D wow, we appreciate you, Live Capital. I appreciate that, man. I really hope so. We continue to do this stuff for the real for the realists. You know what I mean? We have a lot of people that do listen, a lot of people that have, you know, mortgages, kids, families. We're not here to waste your time. I'm surely not here to waste my time. You know what I'm saying? And if you're like me, you want to actually put yourself, your time, and efforts into the right thing. You know what I mean? So if you guys appreciate the content that we do, that we continue to, you know, be dedicated to this thing, we definitely want to give you guys just premium content good presentations and everything like that and if you guys are out in the atmosphere if you guys are out in the community and if you guys witness something utilize utilize our twitter as 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 we said we said road flares of interoperability you get what i'm saying you know if you see any 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 buffoonery anything anything that you know isn't right it's your responsibility to tell the truth you get what i'm saying you know and let them say and, and tell them ted sent you huh because i'll back you up i'm your two you get what i'm saying it's our responsibility you can't be scared to sit here and tell the truth especially when it comes down to cryptocurrency don't be scared of some nerds that can't you know don't even know the truth themselves and they're fearful and uncertain and doubtful about their own lives you get what i'm saying you know don't cut it off now don't cut off the live now hear what i'm saying you get me? But that's really what our community is all about. Sticking together and actually making sure that utility cryptos, real world events actually take place. You know what I mean? So real talk though, D Wild. I appreciate you being up in here. DJ Sir one. Thank you for this channel. No doubt. No doubt, bro. No doubt. We are going to stick together. Rex London. Why is XRP flying? That's what I'm saying, man. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I personally believe it's that Celsius news, bro. I think it's that Celsius news that really caused this thing to really kind of do something. You see what I'm saying? Look at that. On the four hour, it's printing a little chunky one. Look at that. Look, 38.5. What? It's going gonna, it's gonna to kiss that 38.6. It's going to kiss that 38.6. And then, you know, but yeah, it might be off to the races, my people. But right here, it's going to range. You know, once it passes, once it passes over here, it's going to range. You get me? It's gonna range, and once we once we uh, once we get above forty on a four on a four hour, we're bullish, y'all. We're bullish, and they know this, y'all. And they know this. The manipulators, the banks, the financial institutions, they know this. 
here's my question when it comes down to price manipulation you get me i think once you actually have like a asset that's actually tracked like you see these patterns and all this stuff when you actually have certain things they can time the market manipulate the market based off of these patterns you get what i'm saying that's the whole thing why charts actually make sense is because you can actually see people's sentiments people's buying the supply to demand their 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 sentiment so if you can control it like i said if you could like 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 i said earlier y'all this was found in every single chart xrp xdc where is it i think it was where was that hold on but yeah just this huge pump you get what i mean the uh i think it was this right here no for 10. well for xdc xdc didn't have too big too big of a pump but let me show y'all xlm you see xlm had a huge pump iota had a huge pump all at the same time you know now that's the real question everybody is that here is here's yeah here was um here was xdc's xdc's huge pump but somebody pretty much dumped on it right there and made it work its way back up so that's where that delay came from um but yeah xrp trying to do a little something something go ahead go ahead all right Mr. Wright, I have searched for months and months to learn what I have learned, and you have it all here. The spirit is good here. Right on, man. We definitely, definitely key in with the spirit of wisdom. Um, man, you know, one thing that I've, that the Lord has really made a change with me, y'all, I got to get personal. I'm just going to say this, is that I think it's important that we have a mindset, right, that pleases God. Now, all this lift Jesus stuff. Is, oh, okay, okay. For my believers, if you guys are liking how I'm talking and everything, check out on our channel. Go to our channel. Check out in our uh, featured channels, L-I-F-T-T, Jesus. Okay, it's one of our featured channels. You have Medicated Melodies and Lift Jesus. Both of those right there, if you really liking how I'm talking, subscribe to us over on Lift Jesus. And over there, I do live streams on Sundays to where we can, you know, really do some, you know, some preaching, some teaching, and really uh, have something to say. You get what I'm saying? D Wild Lift Cap. Do you believe the stock market will transition to blockchain technology? No doubt about it. Every all the stock market is going to be tokenized. Real estate, all traditional markets will be tokenized. Charlie Bags Ripple made a public statement today. They are looking at uh, Celsius assets. This typically means they are looking to buy this company after being asked if they were. They said no comment. Interesting. Interesting. You know, buying Celsius. I, last we checked, FTX was going to be uh, bailing them out. You know, FTX was gonna bail them out. That could just possibly mean they were just gonna buy their assets, you know, bail them out. Basically, you guys have assets, we'll buy them to help you guys out with these fees or bankruptcy and all that stuff. Um, you know, uh, shout out to all these Celsius users if you guys are still able to make withdrawals and deposits. You know what I mean? That's a real question. Uh, Kev Sterone, my man, Grandpa Kev in Florida, checking in for good info and crypto news. Kev, I hope you've been getting that, man. We kept you in mind, for real, for real, when it came down to crypto news, for real. We want to present it in a way to where you guys can just cut it on, receive your 24 hours of blessing, and receive that in the atmosphere. We're going to give you good news. We're, you know, we're going to give you the cutting edge news. But the best part is there is a voice behind the voice. And I'm not going to get too far into it because ain't no spookiness over here, y'all. That's that's the best part about how we're coming. OK, nobody gets scared. There is no spookiness over here. If you try to get spiritual aside from the word, it's spooky. OK, kind of scary where we're coming from. It's love, health, wealth and wisdom and none of that white magic. You know what I'm saying? For real. Josh Jackson. Amen, brother. You move different by Christ. Give unto Caesar, but God, uh, give unto Caesar what is Caesar's, but give, but give unto God which is God's. That's the truth. That's the truth. So, um, yeah, you know, and <laughs> yeah, yeah, good stuff, Josh. Appreciate you, man. 66 and a half years young and ready for the moon. That's what I'm saying, Kev. That's what I'm saying, man. You're young, bro. You're young, but wise. All right. And that's the Kev, you know, I think, um, Kev. I would really like to know, you know, check out our course, man. Kev, check out our course. Get it to your family. Let me know. 
right? Because obviously we simplified it to the fact that you could have everybody in the family can pop that thing in like a tape, okay? But Kev, that's what's happening. You're a believer. That's what's up. That's what's up. And look, guys, this is no, this is no like cult, we, you know, as if, oh, well, I have to believe in God to be a part of this community. No, no, no. Just look, just be, now look, don't be here on the sidelines now, okay? Don't be letting Lyft Capital, don't be letting Ted talk money just pump your bags and you just sitting there on the side. Check in, say something, don't just sit there, you know? Bet with the goat, sup player, I'm ready for my generational wealth. I know that's right. Appreciate the visit, bruh. Kev Cerrone, just traded some XRP for XDC IOTA Algo. Bam. Just traded some XRP for XDC IOTA and Algo. Wow. Okay, Kev. Um, hey, you know, uh, I guess. I guess. I I, you know, to each his own. Kev, I mean, I'm sure you must have had a whole gang of XRP, but you know, diversified. I could dig that, man. Diversification. I like that move. I like that move. Real talk. Naptown XRP, what's up, crypto fam? What's happening? Checking in, checking in. Loving it, loving it. Satja, I'm heading to bed. It's 2.30 here where I live. It's been a pleasure. Peace, love, peace, pleasure, uh, peace and love. Right on, Satja. Appreciate you being in here. Connect with us, for real. Make sure you uh, you check out what we have tomorrow. Rick Caruso, is Cody a good cryptocurrency? So I actually, uh, I think we actually hold a little bit of Cody. Cody is going to be uh, associated with Cardano, I believe, right? check out Cody one last time I think we've oh yeah we didn't hit the two hour mark y'all so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, probably wrap this one up after this uh, last question I'm gonna check this out look at Cody with y'all all right so yeah because they're gonna be taking on payments and everything like that Cody is a good one this is a coin as well uh, and they've cross-chained Cody's been doing a did, did something today it looks like let's see how this did D had some decent price action throughout the swan look at that look at that had decent price action throughout the swan so this thing dipped down to 10 cents all the way down to really eight cents back up to uh 10 so i like the price action on cody it's a pretty solid solid jammy jam this is a part of the uh, cardano ecosystem oh that's not good i better get that fixed uh, but let's go take a look at their Twitter one time. 239 on that following multi dag. So yeah, they're a layer one, which is cool that you have Cody doing some things. This isn't bad. A USDT pair. Yeah, I like Cody. I've, I've, I've actually had some Cody, but like I said, it's a, uh, let me see that all time high. Yeah, all time high around 65 cents with a 2 billion. 2 billion supply so like i said this could be in your double digits eventually you know this could be in your double digits eventually like i said this thing is only be around 2017 you know so what's this going to be 2023 you know one two three bucks you know what i'm saying you know and cody's decent this is off the cardano like i said y'all that's the ecosystem that's going to be ethereum this 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 illusion isn't going to last for forever people feel like ethereum's here to stay because they're emotionally attached to their bag, okay? The greed, you know what I mean? But yeah, uh, uh, Uncle Rick, appreciate you being in here, bruh. Now we got Uncle Bam Bam up in here checking in. Hello, everyone. Word up, word up. Two hours, you're a beast. Oh, Mr. Right, we do this all the time, bruh. That's how I do, that's how I do. This is my regular, this is my standard. I make sure that I bless you guys with at least two hours of my time. Marvin Davis feeling blessed and put two more. Word, Marvin, appreciate you being up in here. For real. Rick, thanks, sir. No doubt about it, my man. Cody is definitely decent. For real. One of the world's first blockchain protocols that is optimized for decentralized payments and designed for the use of merchants, governments, and payment D apps. That's what I'm saying, y'all. Even when you have um Mark Cuban having some words about Charles Hoskins, you know what I mean? Um talking about Doge has more application use cases than Cardano, you know, clowning Cardano because Charles Hoskins you know tells the truth and comes out about mark cuban and stuff they have words back and forth you know so 
That was an interesting thing right there. Papa Don, appreciate you being up in here. X Gang in the building. X Gang in the building. Guys, we're definitely building up our premium, uh, our premium, uh, our premium content and premium communities and everything. So if you guys have been noticing maybe a difference in our um, YouTube, our, our regular content and everything like that, we're not pulling back or anything like that at all. We're just, like I said, a lot of, a lot of pots, pots on the, uh, on the stove a lot of things to prepare for like i said i'm going to be announcing it as well if we have any people here from t's crypto spot uh of course big shout out to t we're definitely going to be connecting with k more uh and t we're going to be doing a little thing before uh, the summer is over we're going to be doing pretty much announcing it right now for a ama with you uh with t and k more it's going to be a three you know uh, ama with you guys obviously i think uh on our on our uh t and ted saving america we were doing a lot of the talking but i think we can open it up for you guys to ask a few more questions just kind of like this a community time so we can actually come together and really let you guys understand and know um that there is actual effort that's being made on the side for edu educating people in cryptocurrency you know um even though you have a lot of mistrust in the communities in the cryptocurrency network in the crypto community world it's possible that you can have real heads real people that will come and dedicate their time and effort to really show you guys something so i think it's i'm, I'm really excited for it i think it's going to be pretty cool um we're definitely going to be connecting with him uh in the real way and and like i said you guys can you know prepare your questions and everything for that t t is a t is a, a definitely a bright mind when it comes down to it especially with his uh experience uh i believe in the traditional markets and as well um you know he, he, he knows his stuff, especially for these utility cryptos, and he represents for the ISO uh, uh, community. So it's really good. Mr. Wright, thanks, everyone. I am glad I found you all. Yes, sir. Connect with us, bro. Connect with us. All right, Rick cannot put it on Nano yet, though. Oh, your ledger, man. Your, your ledger. I'm GPU mining Doge now, swapping it for HBAR. Okay. Okay, Rick. Go ahead, man. Go ahead, bro. You mining Doge, do it, and swapping it for Hedera. Do your thing approximately the same price go ahead bro go right ahead exactly that is brilliant 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 idea no doubt papa don will xrp ever reach a thousand dollars yes yes i truly do believe it will i truly do believe it will all right and last one here rick says unminable to the uphold exchange dig that rick dig that of course continue to connect with us guys i'm gonna wrap this one on up i really hope you guys have been enjoying what we've been doing over here like i said prepare for obviously more that we have prepared for you this this crypto market continues to grow 24 7 365 and we have a passion for it completely but guys i'm gonna wrap this one on up okay with that being said i'm gonna holler at you later peace